It, are we live? Not yet. All right, it tends to upset some people on my team. Oh, okay. The people that have been working for on scene. Right. All of a sudden they find out that I'm, you know, and it's like, well, what about, so it's kind of, it's, I work with, it's hard to, um, I don't like to, I oh. I've, I've, it was funny because I was going to, I was like things I was going to ask about. It's like, you know, because I wasn't sure if you bought it or what, but then it's like, did you get employees with this? Because do did, they have employees? You know, the way, the best way I, I, I like to explain it is um, on scene was owned by two people, Zach right. and Jeremy. Zach left. Right. I picked up where Zach left off. That's how I look at it. There, um, there. And then there were, um, hold on, guys. When, when we were going to, hold, hold, hold that thought, when we were going to do the, um, and this is more personal, I really want to get it out, but yeah. when we, the merger, we were going to come up with uh, a company. Yes. You're and that, in that would have been, you know, um, there's only two owners of company X, we'll call it. Okay. And so, since we decided to keep the name on, so right, yeah. it's just... Yeah, you know, that was so also what I was kind of wondering. It's yeah, like, it, it's, you know, it, it, and now that you say that, so it's not even a merger. Yeah, I mean, it's not an acquisition, yeah. it's a merger. Yeah, LL. Unseen. Right, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, well, that's okay, so you we're got rid of. Sorry about that, and uh, hey, and welcome everybody. We are a little late, but if you're watching the live, what difference does it make? You can go ahead and just get on there, say hello. I was uh, told that we need to do more introductions in the show here. So I am Stu and Mandel. Then we also have Siamara, that is the our co-host desk. <laughs> And uh, she is, you know, some, well, there's been some, like, what is she doing? Why is she just looking at her phone or what she doing? She is monitoring the chat. So CMR is the one that's monitoring the chat. So when you're writing and stuff, she's the one that's going to be reading it. She's the one that, she's the gatekeeper, as it would be. Okay, not the gatekeeper. But anyway, so that's CMR. And behind the scenes, we got Marcel back there, who apparently has an opinion every now and then. Anyhow, once again, this is going to be the third technical, technically the third show. And I just wanted to take a second to really just thank everybody. Um, you guys don't see it because all you're looking at is a picture in a box, which is awesome, but there's a lot of stuff back here for behind the scenes. Marcel does a lot of work. It is um, a blessing to have uh, friends with such talent and such big hearts. Anyways, uh, we're having a, I guess we're having a little bit of a mic issue, but anyway, I just wanted to thank, every, I wanted to thank my friends that are helping me out, that are showing up. Today it's going to be Scott Lane. We'll talk about that in a second. But I also just wanted to thank everybody, even the guys and gals that are watching. Anyways, with all that being said, we're still having some mic issues, but... <laughs> Let's just let it, let it roll. I could, I could have gone another three minutes. Let's be fair. Um, anyways, we got uh, we got Scott Lane uh, here today. Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. And thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, it's like I always want to see Scott Lane. Lab labs, but no, no, Scott Lane of Unseen TV. Right back where I started from. Well, we're going to talk about the whole sort of thing from there. That's number four. Yeah. So yeah, it's, this is the it, number one. It's, 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 it's good to be back. Two isolated in that sky. I started by seeing Kevin on my uh, 24-year anniversary, April 4th, 2000, was my very first story I shot. Right. My very first hits on TV. But when you say you're coming back around, when you wound up doing this merger, you were working with, you know, you're, you're back, you're showing up talking to the boss at boss level. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, you know, I used to be called boss man. Yeah. And um, That's so, what so before yeah. we continue on, I, I, we have to introduce the guest, the guest <laughs> engineer. The guest the guest. We have the guest engineer, this is Mr. Bronson, everybody say hi. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to go to work, all right? Time to go to work, buddy. He's doing all the tech today. Yep, he's behind the scenes. He's behind the scenes and behind the scenes. Yeah, no, it was, um, so... Yeah, he used to be the boss man at, at Loud Labs, at okay. Loud Labs News, LLN, however you want to call it. Right. Then um, I took a break. I went to Texas. I went to Texas for a couple years. And Loud Labs stayed here in LA. Um, they slowly started to, you know, find other homes because I wasn't here. You know, it's, right. it's, when you're not here, it's tough to, you know, be the boss man. So at some point, I was approached by the owner of On Scene. And he said, let's have a conversation. So he came over to my house in Texas. We had some pizza. 
and um, he wanted to basically start a new company. He wanted to take on C right. and Loud Labs and start a new company. Okay. And I was like, I like that idea, but let's keep the name on scene. It's been established since the 90s. Um, I believe Brett and Rob started it in 1996. Right. And it's the biggest name out there. If we started with um, a different name, we would have to start all over. We would have to be like, hey, it's Scott with, you know, Media X. It's Scott with, and, and, the, and oh, you know, I used to be with Loud Labs. I used to be on scene. So it's just easier to keep the on scene name right. and keep it going with all the, it, it's, why why rebrand when it's it's already there? So now I just came back to the you brand. brand. Gonna, you weren't going to rebrand. You could have used your brand, which I was also extremely well known. I think and, and just to be clear, if some people are just kind of jumping in right now, that's Scott Lane, and he is one of the you know the stringers, the stringer out here in Los Angeles, and that's how we started. Now he's got a. a huge company, media company, that actually works with streamers, helps people out, and so we're going to touch on all of that, but we're talking about right now is the merging of the two, again, at one time competitors, you know, as, as competitive can be, and, you know, now the guy that started at the bottom at one company created his own company that now is actually back merging. at the original company right yeah it's uh full circle full right circle. i love it i mean when you when you get in credit i mean from i, I didn't want i almost said zach but it was jeremy jeremy yeah jeremy, did, did jeremy you, is uh you know the one who approached me from on scene it used to be jeremy and zach's company The best. This is the best. We're on the doll. Yeah. So, yeah. I did. Oh, sound. Right. We're working on sound. Working on the sound. Right. Sound, 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 sound. How do you how do you bring back that kind of energy? How do you bring that <laughs> moment back? Man. I will try. I will try. That was that was that was that was the whatever the awards are. <laughs> God. Like wow, what a God. beautiful. That's all right. I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. We just gotta work. We are. We're having some technical difficulties. A little, not all set up for it. Yeah, so they have a hard time working on things that are on the ground. But no, hearing, hearing you, I, I, I appreciate that because you, I mean, you're, when it comes to the generation before I, it was you and then the other guy, and uh, he's done pretty well for himself. Right. Yeah, he's done pretty well for himself out there, but stepping stone again. He, he used it as a stepping stone as well. You used it as a stepping stone. Everybody uses stringing as a stepping stone. How's our sound? We're better. All right. Well, I, I didn't use it as a stepping stone. I took it 
as far as you can take it and right. still trying to take it, I don't see myself not being a trainer. Right. Where, where other people saw themselves doing other things. I this is it. This is me. This is right. this, this I was is gonna it. say you keep saying stepping stone, but for people that are stringers that have made a real living at it, it's it's a foundation. It's a foundation. It's you know, you're learning you're learning skills. There's that that you know, either you get it or you don't, in, in being, you know, what's newsworthy, how to hear these things, how to get to those things, how to shoot those things, how to sell the package that you just shot, and then, you know, and then getting paid. And, you know, and if you were working with somebody, which I did for years, and that was actually approached by other streamers at the time, doing, well, why are you doing, why are you working for these people? But anyway. It's, Same thing happened to yeah, I. Yeah. But it's like you're learning all these skills, and, you know, just running them down. I mean, and it it it's a stepping stone. But if you go into if you're a stringer, you go into production, it's your camera. You know how you shoot. You know what you shoot. What you know your understanding of what you're seeing and putting it on the tape. You know if you get into news, it's your ability to chase news. So you can listen to a scanner. You understand what's going on. You know, uh, and if you're a reporter or you wind up reporting, you. Have well, if you're in a helicopter, but you also have that sense of, you know, the excitement, the understanding, this is a story, this is the impact. So, you know, you're saying it like it's a stepping stone, but I see it more of a foundation for people. Sorry. Well, it's a, it's, for a lot of people, it was a job. For a, job. for a few of us, it's turned into a career. Right. There's only a handful where it's actually turned into a career. There's a few people right now that they're in job. And it might be a career. They have to decide if they're going to go into career mode or not. And a couple of those guys are on my team. So about Dave? No, no, okay. no. And, and somebody else. No, no, no. And, and he made the most fun for me ever. I, I felt like a big boy kid. <laughs> I came back. I left for Texas, and then and it, it, it's because of Dave is why I came back here. Okay. When I came back and got out for the NBC helicopter job, that made me realize who I was. Right. I was in Texas going do 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 board, but I'll never take it back. I was out. I lived a one road life. Right. I took that kid to school. I took that kid to Taekwondo. And I loved it, but it wasn't me. And then when I had the opportunity to come back here, I started coming back because of that Make a Wish week. I mean, right. realize how much I I love this job. I love chasing news. It's right. I chased news last night. I got a bunch of stories last night. It was, it was a great time. It came up on one of my. The bear spray? One of my allure, the bear spray story? No, it said, it said on scene. I was like, huh. Yeah, we're, cool. yeah we've, been, we've been doing pretty well. So, I mean, on scene's been doing well all the time. I always said on scene is a well oiled machine. And that machine had a little hiccups here or there, but now it's back to. You, you know, need the fuel to make that machine go. Yeah, it, and, it, and it's going right now. It's definitely yeah, going. Fuel has arrived. Yeah. So, how, is, how, how do they make their money? I mean, how, where is the money coming from? So you're a young stringer, you know, <laughs> either, you know, either you're running around or oh, oh, whatever. He's talking about other people. No, 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 he's talking about other people. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. I like, you know, I want to run around and chase crazy on the streets at night. And, you know, so how, how do you go from having that idea to making that happen? Then, you know, we can skip through a lot of it, and then become somebody like you, you know, somebody that is a, you know, more of a mogul than any of the other ones. Okay. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> and stop. Um, it's a tough world now. It's different than when you started. It's different than when I started, and the cell phone rules everything now. So all of our stories are shot for us before we get there. It's just a matter of who has it. Is it the surveillance footage? Is it the cell phone? It, it's... The how to do it is different now than it was then. The how to do it now is, here's the thing too, is when I tell people this, they can go out and do it and they become my competition. But I'm confident enough with what we have going on that maybe that person come out and might join our team. But the best thing to do now is, is and I hate to do this because I'm telling you how to do it, no. shoot the story on your phone attach the stations to your social media, post it on Instagram, attach the stations, do it long enough, the stations will contact you. Or, right. or, true. or, or you do what um, somebody did uh, in Long Beach. Um, and if they're watching, he, he did exactly what you should do. He put his big 
logo on TV for free or not free. It doesn't matter. His big logo was on TV. That wasn't one of the major companies. Okay. And one of the major companies reached out to him, grabbed him, and now he's with one of the major companies. So if you can figure out how to get your footage to the station, put your big ass logo on there and give it to him. No, one, of us, one, of us, one of us will reach out to you because we'll see that logo. Right. And, 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 and people don't want to hear me say this, but you asked me a question, yeah, and I wanted to answer. Thing. Okay, but, but, you know, <laughs> let's just imagine. We, we don't know who that guy is, right? But it's one of these, all right, it, it's not the golden ticket. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not asking for the golden ticket. No, you're no, saying no. that this isn't the golden ticket. Basically, you're saying go out there, shoot some news stories, try to get in with another company or in with a company that will pay you. For That's it. the only way it's going to happen now. And when I started, you needed five things to see if I can remember them. You needed the car, the scanner, the computer, the phone, and uh, the camera. Wait, did I say the camera? Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to get it. It's got me nervous. Computer, car. The computer, scanner, car, um, phone. It has to be a nice thing. There's one more. There's one other thing. There's five things there. It wasn't the hustle. Either way, all of that is now rolled into your phone. The only right. thing your phone can't do is drive you there, but Uber can. So your phone literally can take you to all the stories. Now you're going to miss the stories if you're taking Uber. Right. But I can't believe I forgot the five. That really bums me no. out. <laughs> um, uh, but all that is rolled. Everybody roll knows the five. All that rolls into uh, your phone now. Everything's done with the phone. Now us guys at night, luckily, they still want our nice camera footage and overnight. not the shaky the yeah overnight. the overnight the where overnight. the daytime they'll take your shaky footage right. and then they'll go and use whether it's your footage or the ground footage or whatnot but at night we still have an opportunity it is still lucrative at night there's many ways to uh make dollars now besides just selling it to the stations that's the big one right yes now we're starting to so there's a gray spot maybe mm -hmm. yes. Yes. <laughs> yes yes um there's live streaming okay so you roll up to a story live, you're making money. You hit record and you post it to your social media, you're making money. You work for a company, you post it to their social media, you're making money off of that. And then you're also selling it to the news like we used to. Wow. What are you doing? Is he good? <laughs> uh, he's playing with the camera. Is he good? No, you're not good? No. All right. All right. <laughs> you're doing great, pal. Yeah. You're doing great. Um, so it's, there's many different ways besides just shooting the news um and streaming changed everything at least it did on my end and for a lot of other streamers as well um i don't live stream as much as i want to and that's because it compromises the team right the competition i don't care if the competition sees where i'm going but now you're hearing where jason where alex where sam where brent you're hearing where agent you're hearing where all these guys are going right. and now they the competition knows oh they're going there they're going there so you really think somebody's watching we know that we know just to get like you know just to get a tip we know they could be just doing this because this was always know my they thing it we was know like, they are they we, was we've like been told the competition all the competition you know and I would be like and I like there isn't any competition but I'm just you know I'm just doing me you know I'm just doing me I'm not worrying about where somebody else is even back in the day in helicopters. You know, I would get that, oh, you know, they're doing this and they're, I'm just like. Before I left to Texas, I kind of, I refused to learn all these new streamers. Right. I refused because I knew I was leaving and uh, I knew I was leaving and it wasn't really like learning all these new guys that were showing up because of the reality shows, because of the movies, because of everything. Um, it's, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of new people showed up. And because of those new people showed up, the stations were so happy when they would hear from us, when they would hear from an actual, you know, stringer group, they would hear from, they, they would hear from us. And they were excited that we called. And with all these new people, when I came back, I made it a point to learn all the new people. I am, and it might be too much, but I do care about the competition. I want to know where every... I want to know where everybody sits. I want to know who you saw, where you saw them, when you saw them. So I start to get an idea of the whole city. And I know where everybody is. So before I go there, I know exactly who's going to be there or who I have to deal with when I get there. And then I also have to start worrying about, you know, what they have, what 
I have? Right. Do they have a bigger story? Because of the package game. The package game is real. It's it was played out a little dramatic on a TV show, but it is real. And, and we do package, for, and it does work. For for people that are just kind of jumping in, the package scene is going to be well, when a stringer's out at night. They sell. You know, they'll, they'll get three stories. It could be totally unrelated, but you'll say, hey, I'll give you three for one. That's like, that's like the most brutal. And that was born competing against Paul and Dave and not dropping tape. Right. That's where that was born. I, I, 9-11 happened. So I was a daytime stringer, just me and Brent daytime stringing with Rob down in San, or San Diego in um, Long Beach, Linwood, Compton, that right. area. 9-11 takes place, daytime news changes, and I'm not a stringer anymore during the day. And then I saw the independent news logo pop up two weeks later, and I was like, hey, Rob, I'm going to take what I learned from you during the day and apply it tonight. This guy taught you this business. Teach me how to beat him. And he goes, okay, here's the deck. You have to go drop off these tapes to all that. And I said, oh, man, that's no fun. So I did it one night, and I said, I'm never doing this again. So I went and got my stories that night. I go to Pack TV at 2 a.m., and, and the station's like, we can't take a feed until 4.15. I was like, all right, let me go get a couple more stories. So I got my stories. I'm like, I have three stories here, but I saw Paul at work. I'm going to give these three stories to the stations to be Paul's work. And that's, like I said, I'm the generation. I'm the, I'm, I'm the stringer in the middle of the generation of dropping tapes and using the cell phones. Right. And the guys dropping tape, if you didn't move to Pac TV or if you didn't move technology, you, you got beat. And Unseen started beating. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened about 2002, 2003 is when drop and tape kind of just went away. And then the packaging game started. And then the station started taking feeds at 4 a.m., at 3.30 a.m., at 3 a.m. And then they can take it all the time. And at right. that time, they all had news at 5.30. And then Fox said, we're going to have news at 5. Everybody followed suit. Fox said, we're going to have news at 4.30. Everybody followed suit. Fox says, we're going to have news at 4. Everybody followed suit, but Channel 52 and 34 said, no, we're going to stay at 5 a.m. We're going to stay Because five. the way that technology changed, Sleeping in. and it wasn't dropping tape, <laughs> dropping tape, you only get one or two stories to the stations. Right. The way we're doing it, we're giving you five, six, seven, eight. Now, last night, we did seven for one between two photographers. And, and, and people don't like it, I know, but that's how we get stuff on TV. If we don't do it, we won't get stuff. So would you rather have nothing or half of something? And, and let's say you get one hit. Yes, you you you, you split that. But let's say you get three, four, five, or right. six hits. All right, okay. I, I'm, I gotta I gotta get rid of the picture of the devil horns and the viper tongue. So these, when you're packaging like that, when you're packaging like that. So you you said you made that comment. You said, oh, you know, somebody, you know, Paul was there, right? And, and that that was always a stringer thing. It's like you always have to put that in your mind. They might have something better. Anyway, so. When you're doing your packaging, is it, I got, you know, this... It's an art. The, no, it's an art. I'm saying... It's an art. You, you got, just don't pack it. It's an like art. I've got flooding here, a tree down. I'm talking, I'm, 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 I'm talking modern news, not like from back when we, were, when we were out there. So, you know, you got a flooding, you got this tree down, uh, you've got uh, blossoms blooming, or, and you got a traffic accident, right? So of those stories, you're like, hey, I'm going to give you all of these for the price of one, knowing that nobody else was at any of these other stories. Oh, no, no, no. If nobody else was at any of them, you, you don't package. So, you you package see, when competition shows up. Now, so, got, now but, here's, but here's the thing. Yet. But here's you the you thing. If I have it. three stories where I have no competition, right. but let's say Jason has Howard, right. Jason and I are going to package so Howard doesn't get the hit. But... Okay, but, but now Jason and I got the hits. It, it, this morning, I'll give you a prime example. This morning, right. we did that. Jason and Howard had a story together, and then Jason and I packaged. We right. got four and five. Now, he ended up getting Channel 7. Howard got seven, but we also might get seven with some other stuff. But because Channel 5 loves a lot of stuff, we had a lot of good stories. And instead of them having – they don't have the same budgets they had back in the day where you could get 30 hits – you know, in a Nobody night. Nobody got 30 <laughs> hits in a night. Nobody ever But you would, you, would, you would sell three stories and it'd all be separate. And but, but I, you know, you got to look at it like that, too, in just a little bit. I mean, you know, you're out there to make money, not friends, right? But you also got to look at it like, you know, I, am, am I the whale taken away from the shrimp, you know? 
it's like I've got all this going on, but you know, this guy down here wanted his, you know, $135 or whatever it is now, and you know, <laughs> $333. <laughs> You know what's funny about that? No, it is in the 24 years I've been here, right. Fox has not moved. Everybody else has moved about, about 10, a little more, 10 or 15 a bucks, more. 10 or 15, 20 bucks, right. 25 maybe. And it's... Oh, for the price of the tape. Yeah, so it, it's... It, the business has changed and it's continuing to change. And right. if we don't... it's. But this is what we were talking about. You're getting... It sounds like I'm underselling our footage. Is right. kind of what but, it sounds like. But because... at the same time, it's just footage, it's and just I have like... to get it on TV. And if I don't get it on TV tonight, it's no good tomorrow. Of course it will be because you got YouTube and you're making the money off the YouTube. That's Correct, but we're not packaging on YouTube. Right. On packaging, we're just throwing it out there. Right. And YouTube is so... is great for the content, but I'm I'm in the stringer game. All the other stuff is you know I have a tattoo here that says in television I trust. Says, it says in television I trust. I trusted news it with to, altitude. Trusted it to pay the bills. Trusted it to uh, entertain me, and now I trust it to literally. You know, I have to get that logo on TV, and I'm not going to say at any cost. Right. But he who has logo on TV most wins. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I've looked at it. How many? How many companies? How many companies are you really competing with? At I'm your, competing at against level? at my level. There's four of us right now. Right. Give or take that fourth one, but there's there are uh, two for sure, and then two others that are. Eh. So, it, and if you're not on one of those teams, right. you're not really going to make you're it not, in Los Angeles. You're in, not. You're not in the big league. In Los Angeles, yeah. I mean, you'll get a hit or two. And the other thing is, if you're by yourself and now you sell that story to three stations, if you don't know the process, they're not going to call you and tell you they used your footage and send you some money. That's what? not how it works. What? Yeah. Oh, in the old days, they would call us every day. Every, like every time it aired. I'm joking. Nobody ever called. It was no. the same thing. Yeah. At one, I'm not going to mention the station, but at one station, they literally didn't just want you used it or you used it at the 5 o'clock. They were like, you used it at 5.13 in this many seconds. That's really what they wanted. And if you didn't give it to them, they didn't pay you. When I don't I, know if it's like that anymore. When, um, when I started LLN, the way that I invoiced was with a still grab. We would send an invoice with the picture, a still right. grab of it. And now, TiVo watch, you know, yeah. nobody really does TiVo DVR, and then there's AI. So AI will find your footage for you these days. How's that working for you? For real? We started March 1st, and so far, so good. Really? Yeah. They, they, you, so far, so good. So and you, what it so does you, is it so also you, finds footage that's stolen, you know? So, like Sacramento Fox might use some footage. AI cop. Yeah, so the, the AI catches story. it from, you know, if they use your footage in Cincinnati, if they use it in right. Florida, it will catch it because it gets, they're, they're not even looking for the logo. They're right. actually looking for your footage. It, the program ingests your footage, right. and now they're looking for your footage. For that match. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so now we'll get, the problem with that is, that if that airs six times, you have to decipher through, you know, what that was. And then you have to look at the package email and see what was what and who's is what. So. Yeah, there's, there's, always a, there's always paperwork. There is. And it's something that I was happy to get away from with this merger. Right. I can just focus on getting this. What up, buddy? We're good? You're doing good. Thank you, pal. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And TV had the uh, I love that five kid. C's. Yeah. Uh, Angie V had a curation, context, collaboration, community, and conversation. Oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That's a lot of C's, though. Yeah. You, I'd probably get two out of whatever those many. Well, he said somebody, had, like, the, somebody had, had the five. There were like, a lot. Five? Yeah. No, no, yeah. the five things you need to be a stringer. Yeah. And now I'm going to try it again. You okay. need a, a car, okay. a yeah. computer, yeah. a scanner. She knows. She got the list. She wrote it down. No, that's different. It's different. This is this is Scott's it, it, list. It's the uh, you, to do, to be a stringer, you need a, a car, a scanner, a computer, a camera, and then there's one other one. What was it? What was what was what was what was what was courtesy? A phone. A phone. You a needed phone. your phone. Communications. You needed your phone to call the stations. I can't yes. believe I'm getting stuck on this there's right now. There's a lot now. of C's there. Oh, and then of course the sixth thing I can't teach you. Charisma. The hustle. The hustle. the hustle. I can't teach the you the hustle. The kids call it the riz. <laughs> the hustle. Somebody, but anyways. Somebody could teach you the hustle. 
I can't teach it to you. It's say, something if, learned. Yeah, if you don't, that, I can't. that was my thing back then too. It's like if you didn't have it, you can't really be taught this. Yeah, I mean, you, you you can't be taught to go somewhere. Right. You or, either go and then. I'm good too. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. First try. I mean, you have to know your city. You have right. to know what's news. Some just because it's on fire doesn't mean it's news. You know, so it's it's. You know, there's things you can't. There's thing. It's there's things you can't teach. It just has to be I learned. I loved how, you know, it was one of those. We had a little control. You know, my big joke always was, if you really took the rules, you know, a trash fighter would be the biggest story ever, because it's visual and everybody's got some, right? But then it was also the other side was I always wanted to see if if trends could be made because. I was thinking, you know, just lane calls at night. I'll make it quicker. Lane calls at night, you get a lot of uh, washer dryer fires. You remember? Yep. And I was like, difficult to breathe. Why doesn't somebody? Because you know, you know the you know the the chemical compound, or, you know, for a, a news story. It's like you gotta you gotta get people in there. It's like you gotta get people to worry. You know. And I was always thinking that time bomb is in your closet. <laughs> You know, your washer and dryer could burn your house. Well, nowadays out. it's e-scooters. Well, no, but I'm saying. But yeah, there's saying a time bomb like, in your closet. I wanted to sell it to see if the, man, you know, the media would pick up on and it. And they right? will. Because, but because I'm, and I would, and I would write it in my slugs back in the day. I was like, hundred percent homeowner, you know, and it's like, and I'm 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 like, it's like saying somebody's critical when they're serious. You're, 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 right. you're, you're reaching. And for saying a washer, dryer on fire, ticking time bomb, yeah. you're reaching, Stu. No! <laughs> yeah, man, how many times but but, but who night? am I to say it? Because look where, he, look where he went but, but and, look where, I, and look where I am. It's, it's the way, but that, that was the thing, too, is how you package things. Because I've had, I've had people, you know, let's say, not, 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 not crazy theories, but because it could be real. But they would come to me and be like, hey, you know, everybody would use is what you're bringing them. Are you controlling what, you know, and I'm just like, how am I controlling it? It happens, yeah, it you happens, know? it happens. If it happens, it happens. I'm gonna, you know, and it's, that, that was a thing too. Whatever it was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and sell it, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, engineer. Yeah. Go up? engineer. What? <laughs> what do you think about stringing? Um, this I gotta hear. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Good. Yeah. What do you What do you want to right now? What do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I'm not, I'm not oh no. All right. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a YouTuber. Wants to be a YouTuber. As that's what all the kids say. They want to be a YouTuber. Hey, I can help you. Yeah. I can help you. You there you do, go. You do. And, and it sounds a great time. And, and I haven't and I haven't worked on his channel since uh, Texas. And when I was in Texas, I kind of worked on his channel right. a little bit. But since I came back, I kind of worked on my own channels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I figured that there's one conversation, you know, that we could probably get into that I would love your advice on. Okay. Is fatherhood. 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 You're a father. Grand, grandfather, from what I understand now. Yeah, three times. Yep, yep. And doing this job and being a father, and does it? You well, know, there, I had a call. The the, I had a call the other night. I literally called the stations upset and mad. I was mad. I called the stations mad, and they even heard it in my voice. They're like, "Hey, are you okay?" I go, "No, no I'm not." And it was the one where a, a dad crashed his car uh, and, and left the baby, mm, the mom, mm. and some a kid this age, and took off on foot. And the five month old was a possible K injury. And I got there and I saw the blood. And I was just, I was very, it, it never gets to me. It doesn't get to me. That was the first time it got to me. Because I usually let it go. But fatherhood, I don't want to change the subject or anything. But fatherhood and news, what, do you, what, are, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, you know what? I think it's a, uh, it, 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 is, it is a little bit of a legacy. You know? I wanted my, I got daughters. You know, and uh, they, they had an interest in the aerial stuff, and they came, you know, both of them at one point or another were in that back seat. But just, it just didn't happen. Maybe the grandkids, I got one that's a real, real ham. 
I mean, it was, uh, <laughs> she was, she did a Christmas show. Anyway, it was, uh, even if I had not known, sitting in the audience, I would have been like, that one's mine. <laughs> it was, it was, it was. Which one was it? Um, it was, it was mad. Oh, mad. really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. They flipped. They flipped, yeah. yeah. She was like, complete <laughs> closet, huh? He's just getting involved in the conversation. He loves all, all this. He was really? so excited to help when I told him that yeah. he had a job to do tonight. He said, I want to dress like a gentleman. So and, and, and he brought me, he brought me the clothes he wanted to wear. Us. Yeah. Better than us. And uh, he's doing a good job, buddy. Yeah. So we're Anybody given any, anything in the, in the chat? Uh, no, we don't have any questions from anybody what? Uh, yet. No, Guys, no. Gals. No questions for Bronson? I was going to say. I didn't have any questions for Bronson. Come on. I was saving this Bronson the whole time. Everybody was asking where you were? Yeah. 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 Where's Bronson? He's right here. He's right there. He's right uh, there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're popping up and they're noticing him in the background. They really are. Back to the news. I'm sorry to tell you so. <laughs> no, that's what, you know, that's what, this is basically what this was about, just kind of hanging out and talking. But. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, again, starting out, you know, the way I did, I wound up working for somebody and then everybody was like, you know, why aren't you doing it? Why? And, and I just didn't. But then when I did, I was, I was, I remember I was scared. I was scared shitless. I mean, I was like, I, you know, 32, 35 decks, you know, making one dub at a time, you know, and, and then we're doing the, where is everybody? That was the other thing. It was like, I was like, where is everybody? And then after a couple of nights of dropping off tapes, and that was the thing too. It's like you want, you know, you want it, to, you want it to be the best. And I still had that, that angst, you know, that, oh, you know, God, I, I can't believe this. And but, yeah. So you know, going through all those phases, but still, you're thinking, don't go it alone until at least you know about the road. Yeah, it took me ten years. Right. I, I was with Auntie. Right. Then I went over to RMG, and then I went on my own. And after 10 years on my own, I was going to come back here, whether it was on my own or going with RMG, because it just would have made things slide right back in. If I would have came back here as LLN, I kind of would have had to work hard again. But coming here as RMG or coming here as on scene, I just kind of slide into what's already here. Mm -hmm. And everybody kind of... We all know how each other work, whether we're competition or not. We all kind of do the same thing. Yeah. You know, we all, we all do the same we're thing all in the cars. cars. Yep, and go into the calls and listen to the story. So yeah. there's only so many ways to work the night. And being with a team helps that. And when you're by yourself, the goal is to get a team. You know, you don't want to just be the, the one stringer because nowadays you can't compete because of basically the package game. You, right. can't, you can't compete with that. Right. <laughs> All right, so we do have a question. Right. Um, True Music Lighting. Huh? True Music Lighting, they want to know if there's going to be another uh, shot in the dark. <sighs> so, um, <laughs> uh, could you please, thank you. No, there will not be a shot in the dark too. We did get a season two. It just, the production company didn't want to make it, and they made, I believe, Ottoman. And now they're making Ottoman season two. So that worked out for them. We asked if we could use another production company. They said no. Then the pandemic hit and our numbers went flying up. Yeah. And, and they, yeah, said, yeah. they said, yes, you can use another production company. Anything you want. Made something. And they said, no, we're going to pass on that. But Howard and the RMG Entertainment team are still working hard on doing another show. And then I also have a show another in the works. Show. Another show with me, Howard, Shannon, okay. um, right. another Stringer show. Oh, no, um, just another Stringer It's a Stringer show, show, but it's not Shot in the Dark Part 2. Right. It's not formatted the same way as Shot in the Dark Part 2. It doesn't take place just... Live action? It doesn't take place just... It won't be live. It won't be live. It will be, you know, recorded in the power of the edit. Right. Um, but it won't be just in Los Angeles. It will be New York, Houston, Chicago, other, other cities as well. But um, I am not in control of that. What I am in control of is my own destiny and my own thing. So I'm finally putting something out right now of my own. And some of the people have seen me in the past few weeks with the cameras on the hood again. If you see the cameras on the hood again, you know things are happening. Um, two man crew, sound crew, uh, two, two cameramen, sound crew, PAs, call, 
call sheets. Like it's a real production going yeah. on right now. So I'm in the process of making Chasing Reality the series. Um, and that basically just shows me floating through my night with my team and the streamers and the stringers and different things. And so the answer is no season two, okay. but yes, new things. Okay. And more than just one thing. Howard's doing one thing that I'm involved in. I'm doing another thing going on. And then we have the on-scene project. On-scene project. We have the on-scene project, sir. And eventually we will get involved with the on-scene project. Yes. Okay. And yeah. yeah there, there it is right there. There it is right there. <laughs> we have a 10 That's second delay. Marcel is running a 10 second delay. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for the on-scene project because Marcel's in charge of it. So All right. I can't um, wait for that one. Okay, so there's another question. Ding Dong Dasher has asked, like, the highest adrenaline-filled moment for each of you, which could it might be... Um, Someone asked about you being on the 10 with a pallet fire. That was from Mushroom okay. Stamp. Okay. They say no, they say no injuries. And I, I, was I like, feel there was like one. There I was feel one like, injury. There was one injury. I feel like that might answer both for, for you, but then also you. But I do want to hear about this pallet yeah, fire. I want to know. I want to know yeah. about the pallet fire. I know what my stuff is. What the pallet fire? <sighs> the pallet yard fire. Um, yeah. There it is. There it is. The pallet yard fire. And it's really funny because I burned my hand for TV news. I mean, how ironic is that? Yeah. I burned my hand for TV news. Um, the pallet yard fire. That was a good one. November 7th, 10th, 11th, somewhere around there. It was Jason's story. Jason was covering Metro that, that day. I was live. He was live. It happened on a weekend. It was a Friday night. So on Fridays and Saturdays, we'll go live all night. Right. Um, we don't care if we're compromising the team. Weekend news is different than weekday news. So it is. It is. So he was, and you would know that. Yeah. Um, and it was his fire. And while he was on the way to it, he was saying how big it was. It's a big fire. It's a big fire. So he got there and it was a big fire. He said, it's starting to overtake the freeway. You should come down here. And I said, all right, the only way I'm going to be a part of this story is if I get up on the freeway. And when I got to where the fire was, there was only one way to get on the freeway, and that was on the off-ramp. So I took the off-ramp, and it was, it was flaming. It was flaming. It was flaming. It was hot. I blocked my face. I did have my, um, my yeah, I had my um, brush shirt on, my, no, my Nomax. Is that what it is, Nomax? It is, sir. I had my Nomax shirt. Not, not a jacket, but I had my Nomax shirt, which luckily I had because it probably would have burned if I didn't and I blocked my face and I had a little bit on my ear and a little bit here but this took three months to heal and it was pretty gnarly but the thing is I got up there and now that I'm up there the flames are overshooting the freeway and I'm just looking at it going this is a historic fire this is national news I'm watching I've just put my my camera down on I call it a street pod I just put it on the k-rail in the center mm -hmm. and now no cars going this way. You got cars going this way through the fire, fire on both sides of the freeway. And I was like, this is why I came up here. And at that point, my hand was just hot. Yeah. I go, ow, my hand's hot. So for the next day, I was like, ow, my hand's hot. My hand's hot. I didn't realize how bad the burn was until it started to, oh, to heal. And as the most exciting part, that, that, that's not the most exciting. Yeah. Like the, mo the most, ex <laughs> it's not. The most exciting is when you're in a pursuit. When you're trying oh. to outsmart a bad guy. Yeah. And then if you're on a freeway, getting that live action crash that we don't really like to talk about. Yeah. But when yeah. you're on a freeway and the freeway's moving, those are the... This right here is just, I'm doing my job. And that's how I look at it. This, I got this from just doing my part. Right. My part was I needed to get to the top because the bottom, Jason had it covered. I'm not going to go jump on his story. He had it covered. Right. Yeah. So I went to the top of the freeway and... Um, very well worth it. Very well worth it. We ended up doing very well, and we continue to do what's the gift that keeps on giving on YouTube. So, but I will always have a uh, a, a memory. A That's a incredible. Little, a little yeah. memory from uh, from the fun, yeah. and it was fun. Right. That's how I look at it. I, <laughs> and I, look I know, at like as, that's. Fun. I know that's how you guys look at it. Yeah, yeah it was it was amazing. It was amazing stuff. It was you know you were just allowed to be yourself. 110 percent you know volume up to 11 whatever all the time and you were rewarded for it and your only competition was yourself if mm -hmm. you're really good and yeah so yeah it was it was amazing time amazing 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 time the pursuits probably the best 
It's like, how do you get, you get that passing shot, this guy's going 100 something, and now you gotta get ahead of them. Tron. Yeah. I look at it as Tron. It's the motorcycle's on Tron. When they cut in front, mm -hmm. if you, they hit you, <laughs> you died. So that's right. basically what you're trying to do, is you're trying to, Just you know, I mean. Find a way to parallel it. It's exactly there. what it is, and, and I explain it best this way. If he's going north, you're going north, but you're maybe a mile away. He goes east, you go east. He goes south, you go south. He goes west, you stop. And then he'll go right by. Mm -hmm. Did it last night. Nice. Got a pursuit. Yeah. And then dash cams help these days. Yeah. Because if you miss that, if you can't get your camera out in time, you got that dash cam. Yeah. And Channel 5 liked my dash cam footage this morning. Yeah. Those, <laughs> Those guys. Those guys pay. Every, people pay. I, I can't be upset. No, no. I can't no, be upset. No, no. You just got to put it out there and get it sold. Got to get it on the news. Yeah, no, I, I had, um, it, it's funny, it's like, you know, as far as the adrenaline rush, it was, that was the point, to kind of, you know, you know, I'm not saying it's like, you know, just crazed adrenaline junkie, but it was part of the, it was part of the gig. So, I can't really, there's no peak, you know what I mean? There's like, there were a lot of fun times, there were a lot of like, wow, that was, you know, something you never see again. I had a ghost call one time that was always really interesting. It was uh, it was how I got, um, God, what was his name? The, the guy that got popped, Elizabeth Hurley's guy. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. And uh, I'm sitting in a newsreel van, you know, a new, good newsreel employee, sitting over here in Hollywood uh, at that, uh, whatever, the, the fancy uh, market off of, Franklin. I don't know. It's uh, it might be a Gelson's now, but it was something else before. But anyway, bottom line, sitting there at night, I'm snoozing, and the cell phone rings. Now this is back in the Motorola flip phone thing, right? Okay. And uh, and this was one of Gary Arnold's vans, and so it had the, the 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 real car phone, you know, like the the one that you hang up, you know. So things, I've got the seat back, thing rings, and it's this, you know, phone right here. So I unhook it, and I'm just like, yeah, news real good. And it was, I'm just saying the story, it was an anonymous female who says, you need to get your butt to, and they gave the, you know, Stanley and Sunset, or whatever it was, right? So, you know, I was like, oh, that. hang it up, you know. <laughs> rush out there, you know, I shoot this stuff, and then I go to make the calls to the station. And I realize that the phone is unplugged, you know? And it isn't, like, it isn't one of those, oh, it unplugged and it slid. It's like the phone was, like, in the other door, you know, because you had to plug the real phone into the system back then. And I was just like, how the, you know, like, then who called me? Really? Who, who called? The, the phone wasn't even connected, you know? Again, Stu likes to reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's not, it's not like the ghost van. We found out that they were using it as a That's crazy. Box. That is absolutely crazy. It man. Was, yeah, it was just one of those moments I will never forget. And it's this, like, wow. this is, like, alternate you know, universe, you know, it's like, you know, what would have happened to me what, if I hadn't shot that? What know? did you, what, what, what were your thoughts when you saw it unplugged? I was freaked. At first it was, and then it was like, you know, did I forget something? And I'm like, no, because, you know, it wasn't my van, right? So you'd show up and you'd load your van. And that's what I did. I took the phone and I tossed it in the side pocket thing. It was a wasn't the Astro, it was the, their little Dodge. I think it was like the Voyager, but it was like a, you know, the, the, the empty van version, you know? Wow. But, but yeah, it was just the weirdest That is weird. Ever. So, that is weird. Okay, weird. so that's on the spooky level. So we do have a Too few spooky. of like, I have a Too few spooky. more like questions. Okay. Um, so from Incog Pop. Uh, Excuse me? Incog. That's basically like. Incognito pop, okay. I'm oh, pretty oh, sure, oh, would yeah. be like, okay. yeah, like, okay. okay, like, I don't even know what you thought I said, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say what you thought I said. <laughs> anyway, so that was your spooky. So anything that was sort of like near death experience, anything like that, like in the helicopter. In the helicopter? Yeah, where you felt Every like. Every day, I think to myself, this could be my life. 
Any scares? <laughs> Oh. Any any issues or just all the time and now it's just it's part of part of the day. It's just you don't know some of these pilots I fly with. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it, we, it, we've had mechanicals, you know, where basically lost the power. I, and you got to remember, I sit in the back. You know, I'm not the pilot. So we had a couple of those. We had uh, one of the funnest stories is the wing story. You know, it's it, it is. It's like one of those live jokes. I'm gonna give you cliff notes. You know, desk calls. Hey, we've got this windstorm. It's ripping off roofs, knocking down power poles. We got all of, you know, all of, you know, uh, San Gabriel's can't be torn away. Okay, we need you to be out there for the top of the eight. Go take your wind machine in the wind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go take you your know, wind like, machine. You though. realize what you just said. And, they, and, and, you know, I imagine they have straight faces. They're like, oh, yes, of course we do. Get, get going, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, we were in one of those stories. And it was, you know, um, my buddy Dan, a uh, retired officer, and, and it was one of those, you know, hey, we want, and he goes, and he was like, I'm not flying out there. <laughs> you, 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 know, you just said, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I just used that same joke with those guys, you know? <laughs> and he's like, no, no, and I'm like, come on, let's give it a try. And he was like, all right, you know, that was it. That was, that was you know, and we'd get out there, he's like, you really want to go? Yeah, sure. So we go, we start up, we, we leave White Man, and that's the airport. And uh, go head out there. And of course. <laughs> I do too. I leave white men too. <laughs> I don't understand that. So, we get out there and sure enough we start seeing all this stuff. I'm and, like, uh, and? Bam, we just, I don't even know which way, but I was out of my seat, oh, in wow. my head. And all the power in the helicopter went out. I mean, all the power, meaning, you know, all the ENG equipment, the, 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 the pilot radios, everything, right? So we flew back to Whiteman. However, however Dan did it, we did it safely. I know you're going to say, well, how did your cross perfect? I sit in the back, and we didn't have radio, so I'm not sure how he pulled it off. But we land, and it was like this big reset button that, you know, a mechanic had to do. We go back, you know, we're back in the office, phone rings, and they're like, hey, can you be back for the 10? And you're like, do you, do you know what just happened? <laughs> you know, like, well, the helicopter's broken. We got to get the back. Like, oh, okay, well, can you be out there by 10? And I, like, I'm like, hey, Dan, they want us to go back by 10. And he was like, why are you going to be honest? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> you know? And that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was it. It was, it was a lot, a lot of fun. And. You know, and dangerous, of course. There was an element of danger, but nobody died. So how dangerous was it? You know? Okay, so how has your family felt about it? Like you driving, speeding, <laughs> you flying, like you know, loss of power, things you first, like that. Sir. All right, so it's no, it's it's no surprise that uh, that I speed. It's no surprise that. Um, the heck you say <laughs> that lights are sometimes just suggestions um but when you're live it makes you honest so you kind of have to be careful um my family understands and it's the way that i grew up and the friends that i had they understand that it's just it's just another day it's right. just another day it's not you're not my work is not going to put me in any more danger than i was in in the 90s growing up <laughs> so okay that, that was it was, they were more worried about me then than they are now. Um, and now they, uh, you know, because of this guy, I, I, I now think twice about some moments. Um, mm -hmm. You get caught up in the moment, you're not always thinking about that moment. Right. But I've slowed my roll. Right. Um, I have a V6 now, not a V8, although we are in California, so it identifies as a V8. <laughs> <laughs> It identifies so it. as a V8. <laughs> um, because we're in California, you have to accept it as a V8, but it's a V6. So I kind of, and I did that on purpose, knowing the gas, knowing I don't need to be everywhere at once. And the car is just, it's just a work it's, car. It's, it's, it's so just much a slower. work car. I mean, probably zero to 60. It is really two is seconds. slower. It really is. And it doesn't make a difference these days. Um, but, you know, I get my vroom vrooms in, you know, in other ways. Gotcha. But it's. Uh, Yes, it's a little dangerous out there. I'm always thinking about it. And you just, I'm, I'm, I'm in a new car now where my other car, I trusted it at every corner, every transition. I knew it. This one, I'm still learning it. It's still, I, I don't trust it yet. Mm -hmm. it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, 
But as my family goes, uh, they were more worried about me in the 90s than they are now. Okay. Yeah. You, sir? The job is to get the shot. That's what my family did. Yeah. They're just like, just get out there and make that money. We don't, no. The, the, fact, that, <laughs> the fact that money comes in nah, yeah. is, is awesome. But well, just yeah. getting the shot is, yeah. I think we would have got, yeah. we would have, I would, it's our job. That was the thing back then. Back in the day, when when you when you had control of everything, that was that was always the goal to get that shot. Whatever it was, you got that shot. You know, climbing up on a rooftop and hiding out behind a, a chimney for almost eight hours, to watching a standoff. You know, with something. You know, that then you get that shot where and it makes it all worth gets, it. That gets killed. You know. Well, not worth it for him. Well, yeah, not worth <laughs> it for him, but it, but it was, you know, it, that was what it was all about. You waited there. You know, when those shots were fired, that was the thing, too. It was instinct. It wasn't anything like a, My instinct was right out the box when the, everybody's there. The whole media's there, right? And then you hear, like, you don't even hear the pop. I, I didn't hear the pop, but I heard the zing, right? That means it went by you. Right, and I was <laughs> like, somebody's shooting, right? Because this was a standoff at the end of the pursuit. Right, and then there was a second shot, and then the officers are like, ah, blah, blah, blah. and everybody's the media is all scattering, and I'm just kind of looking around, and I'm like, if I jump that fence, I can jump onto that rooftop, and then I can go over that roof, you know, and then I can come down, and now I'm going to be across from where this guy is. That was my, that, that wasn't, and it wasn't even a. Hmm, but most sorry. people would say, you're an independent news cameraman. All the media is there. Why are you there? Uh, I was there for that moment, probably. Well, exactly. the, the point is, is you just outwork the competition. The media is now your competition. Right. You're selling to them. Just because they're there doesn't mean you have yeah. to leave. You just go do something different and better than them. And you yeah. just said it by going over that fence. If I yeah. do this, you're competing with the 10 cameras that you're trying to sell to. If you get something better than them. See. I always, and again, that might be a big part of the difference there. It's like I always kind of looked at it more of a, selling it was important, but I didn't look at, never looked at it as competition and it not like in the arrogance of like, I didn't have any competition. You know, it's not that at all. It was just always, I wanted to get the best shot. It wasn't because I wanted to get the best shot because Bob might be over there, you know, sneaking through the trees. I just wanted to get the best shot. And that was it, you know? And then when I sold it, I never was sitting there going, I got the best shot, I got that. It was just, you know, hey. No, you let your footage speak for itself. You always let your footage speak for itself. And, I mean, and it did. Look look where it got you, sir. (laughs) (laughs) It got you on a couch interviewing me. Yes. But but the bottom line is, honestly, the joke, and it is kind of, it's funny because it's true, is my parents are still hoping I'd get a real job someday. They are still... Yeah, what do you, what, it, what do you want to do when you grow up, Stu? Exactly. It's yeah. like, you know, when, you know what? Those people are so nice to give you money. It, it's going to come to an end. Charity's never forever. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That really is it. And then as far as my little ones go, I think they they think it's cool. Yeah, I they, mean, come you know, on. Yeah. I mean, you're at the and top the, of the world. Yeah, and the medium ones, they're just like... <laughs> that's it, so... Yeah, he's he's... Somewhat getting impressed, not impressed. One of the things, one, one, one of the reasons why I wanted to come back from Texas was sitting down, getting him ready for school. I come home, he's getting ready for school. I get to turn on the TV and say, look what daddy did. Right. When I was in Texas, do you know what my son saw me do? Sit on a couch? No, I was yeah. in a studio, but I was, move, I was on a computer moving footage. Ah. But, but to Who's him, he doesn't know that. He just sees me doing this. He didn't see me do anything. Me growing up, I watched both my parents work their asses off until they retired. That was my example. Mm-hmm. The example I was setting for him was, I was like, I can't do that. So when we came back here, I love the fact that I get to say, hey, look what daddy did. Look mm-hmm. what daddy did. Hey, All right. look what daddy did. I can show you right now. Where's my phone? <laughs> I can sh- I'm just kidding, buddy. I got a really good story is, last night. Is on scene related to FCLA? Yes and no. So FCLA is a new streamer that has showed up and he will submit footage to us, but he's not officially on the team because he's a streamer and he wants to go wherever he wants to go. If you're with on scene, we all, we we work certain areas, certain times. So FCLA submits footage to on scene, but he's not a part of the team. He is a part of the team, but he's not on the nightly team. He doesn't check in. 
He doesn't tell us when he comes out. He doesn't go 10-8. Is, is, he, is he the new, new, new Is this the... Yes, but he's not in it for... Um, he's not in it for the money. He's in it for the... He has 10 kids. So he gets to show his kids, hey, look what I did. And then being... And him being new to the company or new to the industry by kind of linking up with on scene, uh-huh. it gives him a little bit of credibility to where he can now, he can say he's with on scene and right. no one's mad at it. And he, he's learning. He went from a phone to a nice camera to where if he shoots something where we're not at, I'll happily sell it for him. And he doesn't even care about getting the dollars back or he'll shoot something. And let's say Jason shows up, he'll give the footage to Jason and doesn't care about the thing. Cause he's doing his own thing. Um, you know, he's got, he's got his own income stream. Correct. Um, no, no, he's, he's not an, in, he's not really making money being a stringer. He, he is making some money being a streamer. A streamer. That's he's now, I mean. he's on YouTube restriction right now though. That's uh, why you guys haven't seen him in a couple, uh, couple weeks. He's on restriction. YouTube doesn't like blood. They'll show a dead body, but if you're alive with blood coming out your face, they don't like blood. So he's on restriction. It's re- it's very weird. Yeah. It's very it weird. Sounds like an algorithm. It is. If they find blood in the algorithm, they're going to yeah. shut you down. So, yes and no is the answer to that. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 I think that was it for some questions. I don't know if you're doing. Are you getting a cue? No. 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 But is it? Are we getting close. We can. We could do a pursuit. Pursu- there's a yes. pursuit. Yes. There's a pursuit. I got one last night. I got <laughs> a pursuit last this night. One. <laughs> What's up, big guy? <coughs> Do I? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're watching yeah, a pursuit. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah. We'll watch a pursuit. Oh, it's these hey, guys. Is it safe to say you shot this pursuit? Uh, no. I, I did not shoot this pursuit. Okay. No. Let's go. Here it comes. Yep, there, there, it's going. It's going. I can't even make that make out what it is, though. I mean, I see it's a. Well, it's a police car or a law enforcement. But it's like a, a thing, utility truck. Yeah, How's that thing a, pulling away from him? What? Oh, okay. Maybe it's just uh, it's, it's camera angles. You can't trust those camera people. They are all a little shady. So here we go. Oh, well, kind of going along. I like how it doesn't matter what it is. Stu just goes into Stu mode. Well, like this isn't this isn't Fox. We're watching ABC. <laughs> it doesn't and, matter. And he just goes really into Stu mode. It we doesn't matter. I like the fact that he goes it, into Stu know, mode. What's with all this map stuff? The 91 and the 15. Yeah, and it's like, Thank you. And they must funny. have heard the cue right there. They were like, and I don't even want to try to play broadcaster right now because that, it's like. Up oh, there it is. Like, oh, the, I know right this here. pursuit. Everybody knows this pursuit. Is this the Emmy winning pursuit? This is the one that went where this guy goes or, you know, get, get, drives off the road, goes through a fence, goes down an embankment, does all this. Oh, goods between two trees. That was a crazy It's not fair too. when you already know the pursuit. Well, no, I know. No, is, it, I is that it? I mean, I don't remember. That's some great camera work this. right there, by the way. People just looking at that going, hey, what was that? Yeah, I don't want to see his hat. Why don't we get a wine shot? Anyway, there you go. Uh-oh. Up, up. Oh, that's Uh-oh. never good. That's you can't never do that. good. That's asking no, to get that's a shot. not the yeah, same yeah, one, what's is going it? going on there? And that was, you know, was that just being impolite or, or just a, an error? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, man. We did it twice, though. Yeah, that was, that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. Somebody's going to have to pay it's for It's kind of like a little yeah. tap. Like, hey, man, yeah. leave me yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Leave me Here alone. He goes. Here he goes. Yeah, that kind of, what? Oh, why is he stopping again? I think What's he wants to hang out with that truck. Oh, oh, oh come oh, on. What, what do you think you're going to do? Oh. Yeah, that, you're going to ruin like, your car. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to pay for all that. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this isn't that pursuit because... No, no, this is not... Because it's not. Yeah, there he goes. There it's yeah. not. Goes. I don't think it's it is. Like, yeah, I mean, At like, this point, I'm I, surprised they haven't fired shots. Well... That, know, they they uh, use very, uh, very... That is a... Look at that. Look at the strength in that truck, though. <laughs> It's like... I'm looking at the strength of the fence. What? The, <laughs> the, the fence. fence. It, it <laughs> held him. It stopped it him. It held him right there. It did stop him. <laughs> what is going to happen? And these guys... What is going to happen? It's, the fence won. What, to do. <laughs> one, of, one, of the, one of those cars has got to be like all Yeah, he's up. like, my car's there already back. Oh, I'm going to do it again. It didn't even do anything. Oh, did he hit the tree? That's all. Oh, that's he embarrassing. Did. Oh. <laughs> he did hit the tree. But it was Oh, that's to... dangerous. Yeah. Oh, he has that whole fence behind him. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. Oh, Oh, and wait, now it's wait, gone. Wait, that, was, that was the camera. Oh, 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 See, oh, I told oh, you. Oh, oh. He drove. It, we should have seen it from some other channel. They they had him like going through <laughs> the fence and like airborne for a second. And then it's just like, it was a great shot. I mean, this is okay. But 
<laughs> Here we go. Wrong side of look at that. Wrong side of the road. These people are driving along. Do, 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 do. Wow. Why is that guy got the reverse lights on? Wait a minute. Those are headlights. There you go. That one. That's where it happened. Anyway, up. Oh, is this it? Is this it? I feel because like I, I feel like a carjacking attempt is in coming. I thought it was coming. someplace else. It was thought it was someplace else. Okay. Well. I feel yeah. like an attempted carjacking is you, coming. Oh, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and that's the and that's the thing. That's the difference is, I'm sitting here saying what might happen. You're just talking about what is what? going to happen, but you know what's already going to happen. No, I don't. I, I there, you know, like I said, this was a while ago. This was a while ago. I, look, at, it looks like a kid like with the steering wheel. Like, oh, no, 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 let me turn the steering wheel. That'll get this thing going. I must have, there's so many pursuits nowadays, I just sleep right through them. What? Well, it's because of my hours. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, <laughs> like I, this could it, be at night. Why is it not going? Oh, it's, it's, that, that's yeah. universal for, come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So maybe this is where it ended. Because I remember, oh, yeah, I guess so. There, 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 there she da, goes. Da, da. Yep. And that's a big surprise to everybody. Everyone's like, it's a female. Right. Okay. Like, okay. Like you're about to okay. Get she's about to get. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This. Yes. <laughs> what do you, what oh, do you, God. What do you do in that case? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's Frogger. Here. here we go. Oh, there we go. Boy. Run, Forrest. Say, run. You know, but that, those are some good times right there. You know? Oh my There's gosh. What just went Afterwards, through a fence? Afterwards, like the truck. Did you see that? Except it's not trailing behind it. Right. So, all right. All right. Go, up. Oh, hi. Hey, give hey. me a ride, please. Hey, can you, hey, give, can you, can you give me a ride? Yeah, excuse There's me. There's a helicopter wait, above wait, me. Wait, I'm <laughs> right. Why did you even slow down? Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she ran right out of her wig. Yeah. Hey, the camera went wide. <laughs> For that. <laughs> like, we can't oh, show that. Oh, there you go. Moon's over my hammy. Oh, no. There you go. Know, They're no, going for a, oh a uh, Western bacon. Yeah, They're going for good. Western bacon. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the, what is that? Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. <laughs> there you go. All the officers are there for some food, too, apparently. Look at that. It must be a sale. Here we go. Come on, bring the dog. Why don't you bring the dog now? And she's somewhere in right. the Right. They... <laughs> they pulled She's the dog out made like her alone. way into the uh, the kitchen at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Superstar. very, very oh, possible. The star's really happy. Let's see. Go is that the, the, that the workers or the? Go kiss the dog. <laughs> they're like she went that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Yeah, that's universal. Right there. Right, right. there. She's right there. Right freaking there. No way she makes it. Oh, wait back. a minute. Yeah, yes, she go, go, go. Are you kidding me? Got out there of the There she is. Is that her? I think they got her in custody at the top of the screen. But, I mean, she got she out did. of the you restaurant. Did. You did. You were right, Bronson. She went out the back door. Yeah. Heard that bus out of the back door? Or yeah. maybe not. Maybe she's still in earlier. there. Yeah. She's still in there. <laughs> oh. So, this is, this is like the awkward part of the pursuit. It's like, it, are we watching tape now, or did they think there was more than one person? Oh, or now we're just showing a bunch of other cops showing up. This is, the, yeah, this is like, it's over. It's over, it's done, you know? There's a lot of jurisdictions yeah. over there. The yeah. city it's in, the city it's from, and then CHP, because she went on the Busy, freeway. busy, busy. And these guys oh, there's like, your doggy dog. There's the dog. There's the fur missile. Yeah, I was going to say. There's the dog. That thing's going to go right for the chocolate shake machine. That's where it's going to go. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Why, why, why are we going in with the dog? We, didn't we just take this person into custody? I don't think she must not have made it she, up the back. She's hiding, she's hiding in the bathroom. Oh, that oh, makes some sense. Oh, Sorry, now. Spoiler alert. Are you hearing this on the scanners? The, the wig is in custody. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. He wrote that on the way here, yeah. knowing yes. he was going to show this yeah, pursuit. He, he had out. that one in his pocket. <laughs> How you doing, pal? So, yeah. All right. So now, now's the time. Now's, yeah, I was going to say, now's the time. We just sit here in the helicopter for like half an hour to an hour just going, you just take him into custody, for gosh sakes. Mm -hmm. Get this done. Yeah. So.
You got that big adrenaline rush and then nothing. We got another one if you guys. Uh oh. Are you ready to watch yeah, another one? Yeah. Sure. You ready to watch another one? Yeah. Do, do you know one that? More. One, more. one more. One more. Thanks one more. to a big thanks to Moy for cutting these. Moy, yes. yeah, definitely. You know, Moy. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. So get usually thank he's, you. In, wait, 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 he's we'll in the helicopter. Wait, where we go? Doing this What's going on announcing. Here? So look that's at, what's look cool at that. about this. Look. Usually he's in the helicopter yeah, doing a, this, and it's really cool that we that's can sit a setup here and watch right him. There. Look at that. And, and there's your wide shot. There's your wide shot. I keep saying that because I, I get hit up all the time. It's like, one of the shoes, why don't you ever do wide shots? We don't want to see the tight shot. We don't want to see the guy's hat. I'm just like, no, you do. You do. What, what's happening here? No, no. What? What? Oh, they're over that, in uh, oh, there Norwalk and the down area. That's not a rental. Like they're going to charge you for that. Yeah, this is not like they're, they're on a Wander Boulevard. Area. You're not getting your deposit back. You're going to get in the like down in Norwalk area. Look at this. Look at that. Either that or, you know, you can might do some repos. Just kind of slide up under the car and just lift up the tailgate. Matt, man, nice turn. Nice turn. Box so truck pursuits. Anybody's ever driven one of these, you can kind of get a feel of really what's going on inside that cab. Us watching it, it just looks like these guys are out for a drive. But those like cab over, you know, European, uh, European. You lost Asian, something, buddy. Asian. That's. Uh, oh, it's back. It, 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 it's a ride. Anyway, so it looks like uh, it looks like he's missing a couple of tires. I'm gonna venture to go that far. Clearly, he's uh, enjoying that uh, steering wheel a little too much. Oh, oh, did we swap some paint there? I don't know. Oh, I love it. We got an oh, oh, we got know. one. We got one. We yeah. heard it. We got a oh, oh. Downy, downy bellflower. See, oh. and, th and this is why MB I didn't get the NBC job. Why? I couldn't do the announcing part oh, of this. The, the camera part, the first night there, the first day there, my footage was on TV, my first day in the helicopter. So I got, I got, I got the camera stuff down. It right. was just the announcing part of... It's just no. What? Like if I just, it, 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 you, how many have you been down there chasing? You know exactly what's going on. I do know what they're doing. Sometimes, but you, know, it's, you got these cops are like, Oop, oh wait, 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 man, where do I gotta go? Oh, oh, making that turn. It sells Bellflower, but it kind of looks almost like Montebello. Now that I'm just showing off, wrong side see, of the look road. How, look how at how this. How, it's look natural. At this. Look 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 at Everybody's like scattering around him. <laughs> what the heck was that? Ooh, I don't know where he is. He's That's in, what the people are saying. He's over oh, Norwalk. He's doing it again. Um, doing it again. Good. Are you just showing off, or were you trying oh, to get used to it? Oh, he's fishtailing, yeah. fishtailing. Yeah. Like he's, he's going doing it on purpose. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's lost well, tires. That was a, that was a so we do know he's going to turn fade. right. Here we go. And he, <laughs> you can't pit maneuver that thing. Yes, you can. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's, he's almost flipping it over himself. All it needs is just that little loving hug. <laughs> little, like, little nudge. A little tap. Help, help it out yeah. a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh, okay. what is, why do you keep driving on the wrong side of the road? Why do you do I, this? I don't think he can, I don't think he can control that. Exposure. 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 <laughs> they usually stop chasing you when you're on the wrong side of the road. I like literally thinking to myself, well, where's that coming from? I don't have that option in my helicopter. <laughs> We may probably do. We just muted it, you know. Uh, again, wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road. You know, maybe oh, it's really, really dude. dark down there. We don't know. Wow, hey, that was a close hey, call right there. Yeah, hey, I, I would venture hey. to say just by the colors. How about color correct? How about we do it? <laughs> how about we just? How about we give that A filter a try? <laughs> anyway, here we go. <laughs> up, up. See, back on the wrong side of the road. It's like watching angry caterpillars. You know. Here we go. Okay. All right. I see this. We're in the shop. Looks mall. like the Carl's Jr. Yeah. Where the yeah. girls are. Wait, wait, wait. What are you trying to do? He's going to go meet up with the girl at Carl's. He's trying to find her what wig. Oh, my. oh, okay. Cold the sack. Was... Going over. No, going the down, oh, down, oh, down, oh, down. What are you doing? Oh. Two fences in a row. We got to, you know what? Just the good old boys. Yeah, we're going to make those fences stronger. <laughs> it's the Duke boys. <laughs> Look at that. We went from one side of the freeway to the other. Lickety split. Look at it. Officer of the law. Oh, 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 oh you know what that man. is going to cost? Car crash, oh, car geez. crash. I, I look, the guy in the car is like, hey, hey, you just hit me. <laughs> oh, what that happened. Doing? That happened. You guys were on one. The box truck versus box truck last week. Yeah? Yeah. Mr. Tire. Mr. Tire. Mr. Tire. Mr. Tire, yep. Yeah. 
Some t some television station actually found Mr. Tire out in Fontana and went uh, and went and shot the story. And I heard they all got free tacos. And that's no <laughs> joke. That's no joke. That's no joke. That's, that's look, awesome. These are the things we don't get in the helicopter. I'm just jealous of the tacos. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, I wanted to meet Mr. The Senor Tire. Anyway, oh, what was that? Did you just pop out to say hello? What was? What, I, did we miss that? See, that's what happens when you. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <coughs> just run, dude. No, you don't want them to get out and run because then it's over for the most part. Unless they do something really silly, which we've seen happen in the past. Okay, well. What we want is for him to tip over without injuring anyone. That's we what do. we want. Yeah. Yes, that's what we that's want. That's what we want. We want, what we, want. we want that truck just, to end up on its side oh, no. without injuring anyone. Is that, is that a we have smoke. I believe we smoke. lost the tire. <laughs> I believe we lost the tire. No, I can't. Fog no, machine. No, I can't. We got a fog it's machine in there. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that uh, well, look at that. he's got a look fog at, machine. Something's going on down there in the darkness. I know it. Oh, look at that. What is going Oh, he's making little rooster tails or something. What happened? All right. 12, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4. Is it stopping? Has it stopped? <laughs> I guess not. There we go. We got around on the other side. We were waiting for the. Wait a minute. Did, did they fix his tires? Is this a different car? No, it's still going. What the heck's up? It's the no, same it's one. Smoking. It's still smoking. It's still smoking. Okay. We still have smoke. I, I, thought, smoking. I thought maybe it's like, you know, somebody <laughs> added two, two, two truck ones together. Because I'm like, this thing looks great. Even the gain's up. What happened? Mr. Tire fixed it. He did. Mr. Tire came uh, out. Yes. Yeah. Dude, I love those blues and reds. <laughs> Mr. Tire makes it purple. Service. There you the go. Purple and pink. And I love how that looks. And the that, smoke with the oh, that's great. That's like it's a, like making a movie. Mm -hmm. The only thing we'd ask for is if like the roads were wet. Right? Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> they could wet the roads. Whoa! For what, us. what? What? Oh, are you power breaking? Like, what kind of crazy are you doing over that's there? That's what it looks Cherries like. And <laughs> oh my god! But he has his hazards on just to let you guys know. Right. That right. I have he could go either tire. way. He might be doing some stuff. Uh oh. We got that crazy. That's is the. That's the double zoom. Yeah. The doubler. The tripler. Yeah. Come on, come on. I, I feel your pain, whoever this is. You should try the knobs. That's get all I got to say. Get on the knobs. Yeah, get on the knobs. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh we got somebody out already. Boy, I, I do love this part of uh, watching these. Oh, wait, maybe and not. What there was we that? go. What, what happened there? And we're back. Oh, I guess we did have somebody out there. Right. And we're back. Is this breaking news? Uh, streaming this is, news? This is Content news? For our pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little uh, little tip for you. Wear it inside out. <laughs> then it's for my pleasure. <laughs> oh man! Well, there we go. Bronson, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Gear jamming. What do you talk about? What do you see? Oh, there we go. Just yelling. Wrong. Oh, right side of the this road. Looks, this looks sneakingly familiar, but uh, you know, maybe they all just kind of blend together. Here we go. Up, oh, yep. I like that. Nice, nice transition. Great job, Moy. And there's smoke. And I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh oh, too. you, you went over something. Vehicle. You oh, went over man. something right there. But these cops, man, they're not giving up either. Look at them. It looks like sheriffs. You think those are sheriffs? Yeah, they look like Carson. sheriffs. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, cops like sheriff. and sheriffs. Oh, no, and there's and a the pursuit the going on go outside. Yeah, we, the sound sound. Go we got a pursuit that, going on outside. I used to love oh. that when you watch footage from the, you know, like on the chase things, and it's from the helicopter, and you can hear the sirens. I'm just like, how do they do that? <laughs> how can you hear those sirens? That is crazy. I've never heard a siren in the helicopter ever, ever. There we go. Here we go. Keep on going. Keep on going. And okay, back they're to saying you side. should bring uh, Mr. Tire. Mr. Tire, we on, yeah, would, you should bring Mr. You know, Tire. On. I think we'd have to go to what? Oh, whoa, some bad driving right there. That's not some good. Sparks. Oh, some got sparks. Some sparks. sparks. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna get that driving on the, on the island. Now he's definitely get... on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, come on, come on. Well, okay, what's going on there? Trees in the way, so you know something's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 that is that is very true. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Up, up, up. Now you're oh. gonna be found in the reverse. They don't like that. They don't like they that. They don't like that at all. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. oh yeah, you sure TC yeah. involved. What's going on? Oh that's not it's not a oh, that's just a civilian. Yeah, he's on the wrong side of the road. What but why are they stopping? Yeah, why does he keep stopping? Is there is there go wide, go wide. Oh no, oh, oh he's probably using, <laughs> he's using his rearview mirror there. So everything's good. Everything's good. All right. 
Yep. Leave it on. Going back. Going back. Oh, one well, more time. Him. Oh, there we go. There oh, we go. Oh, oh! Really, dude? Okay. You, you won't crash into a cop car, but you just took out some, you, you know, moved it. everyday person moved yes. it. parked vehicle. That car got moved. It. Yes. Flattened that thing. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Oh, what's going on there with the windscreen? We can get a focus. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's not cracked. It was just out of focus. So, all right. So now there's something going on. They're they're talking. They're probably talking to him. The wider shot would probably be less painful for all of us. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going. feeling a little nauseous. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Well, hey, you no got part of it. You got part of it. Yeah. So. There we go. Nice and slow. Nice and up, 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 up. Then you got that shaking going on again. Go to the knob. Might be windy up there. No. <laughs> that's somebody on a joystick versus yep. drift knob. Yeah, that's joystick. Somebody on a joystick. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. I haven't touched a joystick in uh, years. I, I, well, you know, that part of your life is, is, we're not talking about that, but I used to joystick <laughs> all the time. When I, when I was up there for a week, yeah. When I was in the, when right. the Make a Wish kid, I used the joystick, and I was told that over at the other guys, you know, over at Helenet, they're using the knobs. And I and I, and I tried. I was like, "This is working for me right now. Th- it it works. The only problem is is the announcing part. But it looks like I kind of probably could have got the camera job, possibly, well, yeah, but not well, the announcer the, job." The thing about the other guys where you were, their drift knobs were too far apart. Gotcha. They, well, oh yeah, they got the GSS. They have the GSS, yeah, yeah. and the drift knobs don't work. Yeah, yeah you have to have hands like on. mine to make that work. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> no, I was. It, it was. It was a blast, man. It was a blast. I'm just gonna <laughs> just let you guys. You're like, you know. Blazing saddles. Yeah. I shoot <laughs> with oh, this oh, one. Pepper, pepper balls. <laughs> we got some. Oh, and there's the dog. There's the dog. We got. Yeah. We got pepper. We got pepper. You know, I always wondered about that. Pepper so you're shooting the these dog. pepper balls, right? That are. They're pepper balls. They're supposed to annoy the you, but if you're not falling down or you know come coming out crying or you're starting to water up, they send the dog in, and everybody knows the dog's got their their snouts are like what seven hundred times more powerful. It worked. Than ours. She she's looking for some breath. But but that's what I'm saying. It's like that's mean. Don't do that to the dog. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> just, just send the dog in. Why are you wasting the pepper balls? Stand off, dog. Let's go. That's it. Hey, the dog will bite you. Yeah, less uh, less fire, less paramedics yeah. this way. The dog, you're going to need less harm. Yeah. Let's anyways. think about cost effectiveness and the price of drama me, which is probably going up quite exponentially as people are watching this. <laughs> there we go. Thank God. Can we go a little wider, please? <laughs> <We have light. laughs> I really hope little... this camera person doesn't watch this. No, come on. <laughs> oh, no, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog. She said no. Yes. She said yes. no. Come on, come on, open the, just go, go, go for the, go for the handle, go for the handle. Oh, man. I'm watching too many television shows. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> readjust, readjust. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's start this over. <laughs> okay, well. Those shadows, looks like they're, she's moving with those shadows. It's really weird. Yeah. Oh. I think oh. that's an oh. illusion because yeah. the camera guy keeps moving. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, now they're We're gonna just going to go pull, her out. <clears throat> just gonna like, pull her out. We're just going to pull her out. We saw you. You're not a giant. You're not a demon. We're coming up to the. There we go. We're going to open the door and just let the dog in there. It would have been funnier if you closed the door. Did they close the door? Close the door? Oh, my oh! God. No oh! way. Oh! No way. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's a little oh, sexy. Damn. Touching Clark's her, kicking the cane Oh, oh okay. Okay. Oh, I would, too. Oh. I, to be honest oh with you. I would, too. too. I would, Yeah. Too. That's... <laughs> What are you gonna do? Like, just sit there and go like this and let the dog bite? Let the dog bite? Exactly. Oh my now God. the doors are locked. Oh, okay. All right. Coming back the other way. Do you oh, need the gun? Damn. At this well, point, do you need the gun? You know. No, I'm good. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I was gonna say. I mean, you you pieces. had the ability to do that before. Oh but, wait, no. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, do you want me to let this Roll dog the back in the here? Truck. Oh, uh, uh, no. She better you not. Start the truck. Do we know if this one's a sheep? Why? It looked like a she. Yeah. Because yeah. did this one get out of the car and go back in? Or... I, I, Do we know guy, if this one's... Girl, what, I mean, whatever. It, it, these guys... Start the car. Just got... She got... It, the driver got in there, closed the door. You don't see a shirt. You don't see anything. The dog just played 
fucking ball with him. All right, all right, yeah, all he's, right. He's injured. Yeah, okay, he's yeah, probably, he's, probably he's, the yeah. washing he's off and now he's, he's like, bit oh, everywhere. Yeah. Ouch, I do dig his pants, though. That's pretty he cool. is bit everywhere. Ex- yeah. yeah, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but at the same time, if that was your car, you're like, go doggy, go doggy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the habit that this guy... We all forgot about that. As we were watching him getting eaten by the dog, yeah. we became human. And we forgot about everything that he just did. But right. then when you realize what he just did, he deserved no, that. No, no, I, I didn't forget about it. Yeah, I, no, <laughs> I, I did. I, 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 did. <laughs> I forgot about everything he did. And he just became human real the, quick. That guy with the bumper and, you know, and all that. No, like, and, I, I really didn't. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the whole kicking and punching the dog was just, like someone said, is just instinct. Like, yeah. you're going to fight yeah. it off. Like, yeah. it, it, that's just your I mean, you're, natural you're, reaction. Yeah, you instinct is you don't, you don't you're want to. Get get, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you're in that zen moment, and you'd like to kind of like do the, you know, loving eyes into the dog's eyes. No, just, <laughs> no, no, you know, no. Bring him down. No. Human spirit, Mm-mm. animal spirit together. Mm-mm. No, no. All right. All right, let's just give it up. I don't know if he could well, channel this guy, loving this eyes. This guy just got cuffed. There you go. Fire what department guy? is next. What, what, what's the guy? Uh, 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 wait a minute. Those are SWAT guys, man. This must have been going on for a little bit. What? It would have been funnier, though, if the, the cab was rocking. You know, that would have, it would have been like, you know. That oh, with been, the dog inside? Yeah, been, wow. That would have been something. Like, they really let him in. It was just like, yeah. all right, and then you let him cook. What? We don't know <laughs> Like, what like putting Maybe something in a microwave. Leash. Maybe the leash got caught and slammed the door shut. As the wow. Dog they closed the door. In. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. They closed the door. We're off of it. Like, all right. that's what you get, though. That's what you get. You know what? I just want to throw out some more love. I, I in the beginning there, I was talking about all the people and uh, the amazing love just to have this little bit of a show. You guys don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, I mean, some of you might, some of you don't, but it is a lot. And, and it, it's also money, it's also money. And, uh, but it's like to have friends and uh, people that just want to join in with the, with the show. It's just, it's amazing. And I feel blessed for that. That includes more, includes all the viewers as well. <clears throat> and I, I appreciate, the, it's, an, it's an honor. It's now two to one. Right. You've interviewed me twice, and yeah. I've interviewed you once. Well, so it's two to one. Yeah, well, Can we talk about that Stringer Stories? Part yeah, Stringer three, Stories. Let's talk, about, let's talk about some merchandise. Let's go. For real. Stringer, Stringer Stories. Where are you going with that? Stringer yeah. Stories. So uh, next is Brent. Uh, I want to watch that. Brent, we could watch the, uh, the, the promo. We could tease it right now if we wanted. Um, oh. But uh, Brent is next, and then um, the, that's in the can. Brent is in the can, and then after Brent, we're going to release yours in full. Um, instead of part one, part two, part three, we're going to release yours in full. And then we got to do one on Jason and I believe Shannon. And then we're going to stop and assess and see if we're going to do any more than that. But Stringer Stories was something that I've been wanting to do because every stringer has a story. Right. And I always want to know your story. And I, it's everybody got to where they got in a different way. Well, some true. people some people love fire trucks, some people love police cars, some people love helicopters, right. some people love fires. It's just everybody got here a different way, and I want to know how you got here. Um, and one of the, the premier stringers in the day was you. So I was able to uh, do that one, and it, it, it's great. I, I love it. it will, it's something that you can't take away. It's a great right. story. Part right. three is my favorite. Part three just dropped yesterday. That is my favorite out of, out of the, the parts. Um, but it's a great story. I mean, just the fact that watching you talk about what it is I, and other people will look at it different, but watching right. you talk about what I do, I, it was, it was exciting just because all there is, is just a little bit of back music and you're talking, but you feel it. You feel the passion. You feel the excitement. You feel the, the, the rush and all you're doing is talking with some background music, you know, around the corner. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a great interview. I, I love it. I'm, I'm excited about it. The Brent interview is a great one. Brent has been doing it longer than anyone. Brent is the longest lasting stringer that's out here. He started in 96, moved to the Knights in 2003, and still doing it. Almost 50. He is probably, yeah, it's, or, or Polly. Polly LaPont out in um, Chicago. Is this, is this my Brent? This is my brand? Brent Sporn. Brent Sporn. Brent Sporn. Yeah, that is my spray. That's my brand. Yep, Brent's so, been doing it so, uh, so know, long. Again, again, it's, you know, I don't, I don't hate the game He's or a, the player. 
All right, I'll just start with that. But Brent, young Stu Mandel, probably had my long hair, looking good, you know, blowing in the wind, arriving at new stories, new as new as could be, right? I I had one of those like this happened, that happened, and blah blah blah, and I wound up single seating it right out the box. But <clears throat> roll over. I remember where it was. It was a car off the freeway, roll over, 110, kind of up in Highland Park, you know. I get there, and it was really, truly, I'm just saying it how I remember it. I remember it was money, just like blowing around, like, you know, not, not like hundreds or anything, but it's like, you know, a couple bucks here, five over there, some more ones. And I'm just like, no, I gotta get, you know, I'm, I'm gonna shoot this, but I'm like, there's money, I'll shoot money on the ground. Are cops gonna pick this up, you know? You know, somebody's gonna get it, I want some, right? Anyway, get the story, Stu. That was just a missed story. <laughs> Get there with the camera, <clears throat> shooting it. Brent shows up, and this is this again. This is my version. I'm sure Brent's version would be, you know, Stu showed up like nine hours later. You know, <laughs> I actually this actually happened in front of the station. But anyways, uh, you know, it was one of those. And so I'm watching what he's doing. You know, just be, not not because I'm like amazed. Sorry, Brent, but you know, I just was watching, right? <clears throat> so. He's doing his thing, he's doing his thing. And then uh, <clears throat> we pass, and then he says to me, verbal verbatim, this one I'm gonna get to the correct. Hey, don't think I'm an asshole for not asking your name or anything like that, but you're not gonna be along or you're not gonna be around long enough for me to use it. <laughs> I so here's the thing. I hope that you have the story's right, but I hope that it's not Brent. I hope you're thinking of somebody oh, no, different. That was Brent. It was Brent. It was Brent. He, he, we're talking the same Brent. He does uh, artwork. Very artistic. No, different guy. That's a different one? Yeah, different guy. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Brent would never see that. And Brent doesn't go the 110 North. No, no. Brent is an Orange County guy. Yeah, well, right. he didn't used to. He, he used to be yeah, LA County to, Southeast. Well, he, he, used well, to, he used to sit at Long Beach in the 105. Yeah, Lin, right Linwood start. Compton, Long Linwood Beach. Compton. I knew Brent very well because he was in my business every day. So yeah. it, it started that that started out as sounding like Brent. When you said sorry, I don't need to learn your name. That right. sounded like Brent. Right. But the part where you're not going to be here long enough, that didn't yeah. sound like. And then when you said the one ten, and thank and thank goodness it wasn't. Look at he us. worked for Citycopters. He did. The guy that I'm. Oh yeah, no, this no, is no, not this Brent. Is, Brent is, is on scene through and through. Okay. 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 Brent started on scene with Rob. Okay. Brent Rob, is Rob brought Brent. To the table. And we're going to hear that story yeah. on Stringer Stories next, coming up this Friday. Uh, coming up this Friday, 7 p.m. on the On Scene YouTube page. So that's the other Brent. Yeah, uh, Brent's okay. born. Somebody just My dropped, the, uh, th thanks to Jeanette, she just dropped the, the YouTube link to the On Scene TV stuff in the chat. Mm -hmm. So those who want to see it, yes. they dropped it. Yes, yes. Yep. Part one, part two. We do have it uh, on a playlist, so if you put Stu in on the playlist, you'll find it, or Stringer Stories, you'll find it. It's a, uh, it's a great interview, and it's a, it's a good insight to how you got up there because right. you started, you know, hit and record on the ground as well. Yes. It so is. it was, it was a great, it was great to put it together, and I'm glad the way that it, it, it started in Texas. The, the editor and I went, yeah, went out to Texas. We were doing that. that. We got sidetracked, but I was going to ask you about, you know, shooting and chasing news in Texas because when we watch these pursuits, it's like the, you can, you can tell. You know that's that's not LA. You know what I mean? That's that any place but Los Angeles is what we're watching just by the motions and the actions. But the stuff you see coming out of Texas, you know Texas. And I want to give a shout out to Atlanta. I've been watching a lot of Atlanta crazy as well. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the Texas stuff. I mean, so they're amped up by plus three or whatever, right? So as a stringer, are you amped up by plus three, plus four? So in Texas, it's weird. Like here, if it says it's five miles, say if it's 10 miles away, right. you can get there in 10 minutes or less. Right. There, if it says 10 miles away, it's 20 minutes. No matter what, every time, no matter what the miles was, it was double. And the it's way Los Angeles, the, the way that Los Angeles works is we can get where we need to go because of the freeways. Their freeways right. are all in circles and you can't really go f diagonal and go through. Um, the inner loop, the outer loop, a lot of the, the footage that comes out of there is aftermath. A lot of right. footage that comes out 
is a lot of the footage that comes out of there is the aftermath, but it does, you know, on scene out in Houston has the market. They right. have all the contracts. And when I went out there, I went out there as LLN shooting against on scene. Um, but I, I lost my superpowers. I didn't know where I was. Well, when, I, when I'm here, I know where I am. Right. I felt like Superman too. When Superman went into the chamber and they took away all his powers and all of a sudden he became, you know, mortal. I was mortal in Houston. I was using GPS. I don't use GPS. And it was, it was not knowing where you are. The story's here in this. Right. It was a completely different world. I was powerless. And so I kind of just stopped. I go, I'm not stringing anymore. I'm going to start doing a show in my studio. Right. Started doing a little studio show. Then the opportunity to come back and came back. And I love it. And it's to the point, and it's weird too, because I started going to stuff going, the nostalgia is going to wear off at some point. Right. And it did. It got to the point where I used to go to go to, to go somewhere and be like, oh, I haven't been here since. I haven't been here since. Now it's just, I forgot I left. Right. Like I'm so back into it. I forgot I left. Every once in a while I'll remember, oh yeah, I took, took a couple of years off. Yeah. Took, I, left I, LA I, for I, a couple of years. I don't know if I could. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I understand that. And I also think about when you talk about like, oh, I did this merger and I did this and I did that. But, you know, I'm from the outside looking in and clearly I'm not saying that I would wish this but, uh, on you. But it's like, whatever happens, you can, you can start again and you're going to be as good right out the box because this is what you know. This is what you do. This is something that. It's who I am. Right. It be, it, right. It, I, I can't help it. And I thought it wasn't. I really thought it wasn't. Right. And then when I left, came back in the helicopter for a week, I was like, oh, this is me. And not even just, I was basically a stringer with a helicopter. Right. It was, I was like, are you kidding me? I, I really felt like a Make-A-Wish kid. Yeah. And it was great. It's who I am. It's what I am. And then from that time that I got back there, all I did was think about how I'm coming back. And then I went out there for family. I went out to Texas for family. Right. And then when that family aspect wasn't there anymore i didn't need to be in texas so what was the best thing to do come back here and then it just all kind of worked itself out right and that, I, that leads to the next question is uh what happened to lln lln and on scene merged and instead of coming up with a new name we decided to keep the on scene name why did you keep the um because did I say that louder? Sorry. no 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 <laughs> so, why the, did you keep the loud line thing so what's up buddy that's me hi me um loud labs the name came from my old roommate he is loud labs he's an artist he's an artist he the, tagger tower that that's what loud labs is loud labs is art he is an artist he goes by the name of loud labs so when it was time for me to start my own company i said what can i do i'm gonna start loud labs news so right. I'm basically tagging the TV. That's why I use that name. So he was an artist under Loud Labs. Right. I was Loud Labs News. Basically, Somebody it was a commercial. It was a com day, it was a commercial for like Loud Labs. Oh, that's awesome. And so people mm -hmm. pay millions of dollars to put their name on TV. Right. We get paid to put our name on TV. So I use Loud Labs to basically help my buddy who's an artist. As time went on, things happened, and I'm not Loud Labs. So people started calling me Loud Labs. People, that's why I changed it to LLN, because I'm not Loud Labs. And then it was time for the merger. It was just, the on-scene name is, it just, it's there. It's, I, yeah, it makes I, sense. I, I, I asked him, I go, why do you want to change, I asked Jeremy, I go, why do you want to change the name? Is it because you didn't come up with it? He's like, yeah, kind of, maybe it's a new start. I go, but if we do a new start, we're, we're, yes, we're, we're, we're here, but we're starting here. Let's just be here. Let's just be here. I don't mind letting that name go because I'm not Loud Labs. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm Scott. Right. So my... And you brought a brand. Yeah. I mean, it isn't like people are going, who's on scene? Yeah, yeah. You know? So, and it, it's... But it could be devastating. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i saying you guys didn't do it, so what difference so, Yeah, no, mean? it's like my... Like my you, change, you just changed the name? My legacy, my legacy is not going to be LLN. My legacy is no. not going to be... Loud Labs. It's not going to be on scene. My legacy is going to be Scott Lane. Right. It's going to be it's going to be me and and what it is that I do when it's all over. Like your legacy is you, Stu. Like mm -hmm. what you did. It's not so much you know. It, it's I did this. I did this. My you know I'm with Fox. I'm with CBS. None of that defines you. Right. You're Stu. Right. So I was Loud Labs for a while, especially doing the, the live stream. People <laughs> called me Loud Labs. Hey, you're Loud Labs, and I'm like I'm not. I'm not. And then when it was that's why I went to LLN. <laughs> And then when my artist friend was getting a little bummed about it, because he's Loud Labs, right. I'm not. And then 
he and I, you know, kind of as life goes on, we kind of, you know, don't you hang, we don't hang out as much. In um, interaction. Yes and no. Like I still, to this day, people still call me Loud Labs, right. and, it, and and it's not I'm Scott. And right. now I'm with a company, and I'm I'm rebranding that company, the OSTV. You know, you'll see that 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 OSTV and that square floating around there, and that's my my touch to the on scene. So it's, I, I it's, it's a business decision. Yeah. I, I'd rather well, keep the name on scene than right. Loud Labs because right. Loud Labs has nothing to do with news. Right. Where on scene has everything to do with news, and it's it's a professional name. It's it's well known. When when Brent calls those networks, it's right. so much easier for him to say it's Brent with on scene than it's Brent with News X. Yeah. Who? Well, yeah, there, yeah, there's that, but it's also one of those things too. It's like, you know, if I'm if I'm the the, the assignment guy and I'm getting the information, I'm gonna look for your brand over anybody else's, and it might, you know, depending upon how late or whatever. But because it's the same thing, you're talking about artwork, you're talking about, you know, it is for it, it is photography, and it is the way you shoot something. So. You, and you made a comment, you know, it's like people get excited because I'm excited. It's the same thing with your photos, I believe. And I believe with you as, as a brand. If I see Loud Labs, I'm like, ooh, this is going to be exciting. Well, this is going to be good, right? If I see On Scene, I'm going to be like, this is going to be required. You know what I mean? This is going to be C-level stuff. You know, you're going to have what you need, right? I got gotcha. you. But if I get Loud Labs, it's like, woo! Just no, I, 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 I do, and that's that's it's weird because I noticed that. So, when I when we were Loud Labs, everybody wanted to be a, all the guys on the team wanted to be Loud Labs. So you'd have Loud Labs Todd, Loud Labs Sam, Loud Labs Alex. Like they were Loud Labs. This. Okay. When I went to on scene, I thought you were going to say they all wanted really fast cars. No, no. When I when I went to on scene, everybody just became their own thing. PMTV LA, Media One, FCLA. You know, right. they all no. There's OSTV 405, shout out Jason. Um, he kept with that. There's also OSTV 411, Mike. But for the most part, people kind of, when it comes to, they're kind of doing their own thing, not so much. When it was Loud Labs, everybody right. wanted to be a part of Loud Labs. And I, and I like that, and I appreciated that. But what that, happened to all those that, folks? That time, they're now either with um, On Scene or with uh, another company. Did somebody, um, somebody grab the Loud Labs? No, the Loud Labs is Loud Labs is Todd. Okay. So when it comes to news, Loud Labs is is gone. gone. It, it it had its ten year run. All right. And I, I'm a little every once in a while I'm like I wish I would have never done anything just stayed Loud Labs. But it's also it was such a headache chasing the money, where on scene it the money chasing is pretty easy. Right. Where not on scene the money chasing it, it wasn't you know my financial advisor was my mom the pit bull to go chase the money was my aunt right they're retired they don't need to be doing my business right. so now with the on scene merger they actually get to enjoy their retirement enjoy their grandchildren enjoy you know life not so much have to worry about scott's money and then the other thing is too is don't worry about scott's money. the other thing too is um <laughs> oh thanks um is other people's money you know, my mom had my best interest in mind because she's my mom, right. where I don't want to be responsible for other people's money anymore. Yeah, no doubt. For 10 years, I was responsible for other people's that money, was, and I don't like it. With on scene, I'm still responsible for it, but it's a machine. Right. It's a machine that grabs it. And so I'm hoping to bring that, that Loud Labs excitement to OSTV. I'm hoping to with the chasing reality, right. with, with the new stuff that I'm doing. I'm hoping to bring that excitement back because, like you said, and like I was saying before, when it all comes, it, it's me. Right. It's not so much the words I say, right. it's me. So mm -hmm. I'm just changing the words. Yeah. And, and it will take time. It will take, and I've been back for, since October, and, and I say it's working. Yeah. I think it's working. They'd like to see a trailer. I've been working since October. See, he knows, he knows, he knows we came back in June. He's keeping track. Oh yeah, he knows, he knows. And you see, I was hoping you were going to start like a new network, you know, it was going to be like, you know. I am, the Chasing like, Reality. Just, Chasing Reality is the new network. So I'm going to have Chasing Reality the series. Right. I have Chasing Reality live. I have Chasing Reality uh, clips. So Chasing Reality is going to be the new Loud Labs. Right. Where? Oh, just wait. 
Yes, yes, no yes. One. Did I say something? Oh, just wait, is what you said, Marcel. No yeah, this, this guy's gonna, you know, change the news one day, so. Is, is that, oh, just wait, is that like the name of the company? No, I think it's the first rule of Fight Club. <laughs> oh, oh, just I th- wait? I think it's the first rule of Fight Club. Definitely Fight Club, but just wait. Yeah. Just wait. He, just he, wait. He just the first just rule of Fight Club. I'm just throwing it out there, not that I know anything. And, and, and I'm just saying the first rule of Fight Club. Yes. So that, that, that. But the first rule of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. So what Did you are we not know that? So we're, so just we're not wait. talking about anything. We're talking about just wait. He was just throwing it in there. He was just throwing it, it out there. So, but there is the. NWA. Yes, there is. There will be a new Loud Labs. Right. But right now it's chasing reality. And then there, there, I, I'm not going to stop doing this until the wheels fall off. At some point I will age out. And right. I'll age out into. So a you're talking YouTube channel. Um, no, there's other cable stuff. channel. There, I mean, the Chasing Reality yeah. series. Uh, we are going to, you know, once it's done, we got the funding to make the episodes. Once right. the episodes are done, RMG Entertainment is going to see if they can, you know, sell it to a streaming service. And if they can't, I put it on YouTube. Right. And there's nothing wrong with owning and operating your own. Stuff. No, no, no. Especially if you look at you know comedians these days. You know, back in the day, you wouldn't want to put your own special on YouTube when everybody else said no. But now you put it on YouTube and you start selling out everywhere. Right. So I don't mind putting our stuff on YouTube to help promote the Chase and Reality, the OSTV. It's new stuff. New stuff. Right. It's not out with the old, in with the new, but it's that that is in my past now. And that was... Every, I get sad sometimes too, especially hearing it from people who are like, "Dude, where's Loud Labs?" Or like you said, when right. you, when when Loud Labs was there, I didn't, didn't want to, I didn't want to, didn't want to dig into a wound. No, I was it's, just, it's, it's it is you know, what it is. It is what, yeah, it is what it is. And yeah. I did what was best for me, right? Not what's best for y'all, what's right? Best right. For me, and what's best for me, not out there making friends. I'm out there making money. Out there getting hits. Yeah. Out there getting hits, and right. that's that's the whole goal of everything, and it's working. Right. We had a little couple little hiccups here or there, but it's now smooth sailing. We seem to be doing okay. All right. All right. Well, they want to see a trailer. If you can send it to Marcel. You actually have it. Do yeah. you have it? No. You don't? All right. If I... Um, I don't think this is going to be... Me, I was going to say, is this going to be like a thing thing? Oh, no, I got no, a tap well, dance. Is, um, dun, 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 you can dun, just... Dun, dun, uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, on screen entertainment. Oh. Somebody was asking about the... Oh, my uh, gosh. The ghost girl in the hallway. We just we just had the ghost boy oh, come okay. through. Okay, just keep talking. Um, it's ghost right, story. And that's so no, what is that? that? No hard days, so. though? No hard days. No hard yeah, days. A, okay. And I didn't cross any of that out, and I kept it, actually, because it's, if you, can, you can't see it. It looks really cool, though, because it was through a, a chain link fence when they crossed it out. So no hard days. But, yeah, it's no hard days. So, right here? And it's a tagging crew, like, I guess... I don't even know. Now somebody's probably gonna be mad at have me. Have you noticed any of that, like over on the towers? I have not. I have looked for said have stuff you? on the okay. towers. Yeah, but I have not seen no hard days on the towers. Okay. So go. May, I mean, that's not a challenge, or or if there is something there, and you guys, because I know some of you guys follow me, you should send it to me. So you know, we were talking about the towers the other day, yeah. you and I, yeah. while we we're waiting for yeah, some stuff to come out there. And it's like, and again, I could have gotten the story wrong. I always do. Facts elude me quite often. But I heard that De Leon got $1.1 million to take care of Tagger Towers, right? And he bought a fence and it's put it. It's a great it's a fence. Great fence. He put this but it's big, not a good fence. He put a big it's fence around it's, it. It's a great fence. And I guess they offered up some overtime because now there's officers there all the time. That's what I don't like about it. We got police being security guards. But yeah, I don't like that. But you know what I don't like even more? Okay. Is you had $1.1 million. I suppose, it, I, again, I could have got these facts wrong. And you bought a fence and you approved some overtime. How about you get some of your high-priced team you know everybody's making three hundred thousand for just showing up or signing their name to the team anyway i'm being sarcastic why don't you get some of those guys out there do some whining and dining find an investment group to buy finish the freaking thing finish and it. finish it before it's already a blight and i'm not talking about the tagging i find that to be art but it is this massive building that yeah. could be creating so much money you want to hear the conspiracy i you know what are you please? ready let's I, please I, i'm sitting down 
Chinese development. Right. What if the Chinese government went to the developer and said, go ahead and just stop that? Okay. It's literally an it, eyesore in the most valuable place in Los Angeles. I, I could see what, it. What if that was like, but, d- 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 that, well, that's them but, doing, it's a silent war. We're in, we're in a war with them. I, 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 Quietly. I do. I but but what, what if, what if? I don't believe it. I don't believe it because it's available. What do you, you mean? You can buy. You can buy Tagger Towers. Gotcha. You know, it, it's it, available it, for it, sale. It's I, available I, for sale. I mean, because I thought maybe they just it's like, did it on this purpose. Is, this is a and wall. I know they didn't. It's this just uh, it was the conspiracy aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's like they should get somebody in there, green light to sell, sell it. Like you come in with some money and some, you know, just like any kind of deal. Show up with some equity, and we'll give you this thing. Just finish it, <laughs> yes, you know. Right. And, yeah. And we're going to green light everything. And within yeah. reason. I mean, you don't want the thing falling we'll down fast on somebody. Track. We'll fast track. We'll fast track things for this, you. You know, soil samples and this and that, and oh my God, this hooted owl and all this kind of crazy. We're just going to green light <laughs> everything, paint it, get it done, get people in there. What about it? What if the city buys it? And it now, would be and, a shit and, show. And now we put the homeless in there, <laughs> yeah. and you put them to work. You know what? You it, tell them to go pick. We have a trash problem. You have a homeless problem. Right. The homeless people, you pay the homeless people to pick up the trash, and you also have a place for them to live. And, and the, the I, I know you're joking because it, it is like that is, the, that is what it is. It's like somebody's like, that sounds like a good idea. And then they start throwing all this money at it, and you know it's a bunch of crazy. Yeah, you, you can't, it, it's a bunch you can't of crazy. tear it down. It has to be finished. It's gonna, it, well, it you has can to be tear finished. it down, but then it's like. No way. Anyways, just why is the city not actively trying to sell it? Why is somebody not saying, you know, I mean, if Caruso would have been in there, oh, what if Caruso would have won? Oh, no, that don't mean it like that. But at least the guy was a He's businessman. Business yeah. You know? And why isn't he in there saying, hey, city, you it's know what? It's the most valuable property it's insane. in downtown Los it Angeles. It's insane that it just sits there and I think it could be taken care of. Yeah. Anyways. We have a trailer. <laughs> was that it? <laughs> yes. We have a trailer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's I, insane. It's insane. That's just. We, have, we just, have the trailer. Okay. We have the tra- this is trailer. This the trailer for the next Stringer Stories video. Roll the trailer. Brent Sporn. Oh, I do know that guy. That's you. No, it's not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh oh. Do we have audio? I could, I could play audio, it, but I, I have it. it, it okay. But it's playing through the. Playing through this. Gotcha. Right. And you guys are on, but yeah. I turned the audio you off. You got a lot. You get. You know what? His production value is way better than mine. You got like drone footage and driving footage and you know scanner footage. I would love to. You got this stuff. I would love to let my cameraman go on a ride along with you. Look at this. Can stuff. my cameraman go on a ride along with you? Any anytime you want. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, I you couldn't want. get this stuff with you. Well, Are you kidding I don't me? Think you could get the drone stuff. That's it. Stringer Stories. We're, we're here. We're here. Hey. Woo! That's next week. Thank you for showing that. Thank yes. You for, thank you for having me, too. I appreciate that. All right. It was awesome. You can look at you. You got your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When Dad is, Dad's talking, we'll so I'm going to... Because uh, you can't want you drinking around here. I manipulate others. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty good at getting yeah. what he needs and wants. What is he, six and a half? Yeah, he is six and a half. Six and a half, he said? Six and a half, though. Six and a half. <laughs> Anyways, anything else from the, from our would-be audience? No, we're, they're just kind of hanging out, just All like right. listening, you know, just like, it's a great interview because it really is like providing a lot of insight to what you guys do and a lot of folks that just everyday people just don't get it. Right. That's how I felt interviewing him. And so, you know, it's, 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 it's you learn about your tools. You're like a craftsman. You just want to be, you want to have good tools. I want to see something. That's the wide. And take care That's of something. That's not going to work. What? No, what? Like, you go, we going to start over? No, 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 no. I was going to, I was going to let Bronson do his trick, but I was, I oh. could find a spot. I was thinking right here, but it's not going to work. It's not wide enough. Nor is oh, it. you know what? Before we go, we got to give a shout out to my friends at Tokyo Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Elaine. Uh, Elaine. Elaine. We ran into Elaine, Tokyo Chicken. Brought us our food tonight, their dinner. Well, I brought the food, but... But they cooked it. They made it for us. It was really awesome. Um, great place. It's in downtown. Give them some love. They used to be in Monterey Park, but I guess they closed that location because it wasn't big enough. So that's, that's a usually that's a good, good sign. That's right? good. It means you're doing great. So, and then, in the uh, kitchen, please. We, do we want to talk about some merch? 
Uh oh. Yes, yeah, so, so we talked about stickers. We talked about stickers. Uh, we're definitely going to do the sticker thing. We're going to do the old school self addressed envelope. Oh, wow. Yeah, to what was the place in Colorado? Anybody? Anybody? No, we're going to send it to Rome. Oh, so you're, expe you're expecting huh? people, you know, 45 and older? to get these stickers? Look, man, <laughs> I'm just letting how, you I know. Don't know the, I don't even know if the kids know where to get a stamp. They know where stamps are, and if they want the sticker, see, it's, I'm, I'm all about educating. I'm all, I'm, I want to educate them. So, yes, we're going to do, there's going to be a, um, a P.O. box that's, uh, it's not in Colorado. Pe <laughs> Pe Peblo, Pueblo Springs? Pueblo. <laughs> huh? Pueblo. Pueblo. Pueblo, Pueblo Springs, Springs, Colorado. Colorado. Not, not, not there. Not there, Redondo, Redondo Beach. It's gonna be in Redondo Beach. Beach. We'll get the information out. We're gonna have a PO box. Uh, <laughs> stickers. We're working on. The, there's some that are already established. And is it Sky Snitch or is it? It's well. The there's gray gonna spot. be Sky Snitch and there's gonna be some Sky Fox and there's, okay. you know, we're, and, it, and it's no competition. And I want to. And I want to do. NWA. Has anybody, NWA. So do we have an animated picture of Stu? Like is Stu sitting there with the no, thumb? No, no, no. No, we got it. You got to get. No, one. I want that we old school one. one. Oh. Stu doesn't do the thumb. He does the pointing. <laughs> the point. The yeah, point. There it is. There it is. You know, so so the stickers are coming. I'm gonna get back on there. I'm gonna find. I'll redesign that one, and then I want to do a different one because I'm not in an A star anymore. And some people are gonna be. What is he talking about? You'll see the difference. They look different. And uh, and but yeah. So that we got going on the shirts. I hear I'm gonna maybe. You know, the job is to get the shot. I understand. That, that shirt is done. It'll be out soon. I'm the not showing my boob. The there we go. News NWA with attitude. Shirt. NWA. Huh? News and with attitude. New altitude. 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 It's a helicopter. Oh, I'm an idiot. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm bad. My bad. You're not going to be my, my team bad. member. I can't. On, on any talk, oh, any, dude, any talk show. I just show. ruined a really good yeah. time. What? What? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to have... The job is to get the shot. Right. NWA and Sky Snitch in a couple different variations. Right. That's an that's a lot of money. A star and a <clears throat> bell uh, variation. So. So how many? We're, we're, you know what? We're we're just destroying our own market. You know, in the old days, it was this is what we sold. There you go. Buy it. We didn't say buy it. It was actually it was it was. <laughs> If you want to send me a dollar, send me a dollar, <laughs> and, and I'll send you, and a self-addressed envelope, and I'll send you a sticker. That's really what it was. I wasn't selling it, but it was very, there was a lot of kind people out there that seemed to like. A lot like, of people have been asking about the new and the old Sky Snitch Snickers. 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 Snickers are good. So we're going to get those out, the NWA ones, the Sky Snitch, right. some Fox 11 stickers. Or, yeah, it'll or, be, it'll probably be a lot like the, the original old school Sky Snitch with the, with the googly eye um, silhouetted helicopter, but it's going to be a bell. And See, so you you talking bell, Aerostar, things like this. I talk, I talk. Um, uh, Mopar, I talk Chevy, Crown Vic, Crown Vic, uh, you know, Charger. Right. So I I think I'm on my eighth Stringer vehicle. And now. it's um, it, it is a Charger. I do have a Charger. Um, how many helicopters have you worked in? Oh, I have no idea. You don't, I, you don't I, remember? I, I guess like, I could sit I, there. Because I can tell you, because I can go back and say, you know, my, my blue crown Vic, my black right. crown Vic, my, you know, maroon one. I can tell you all my stringer know. vehicles, but the helicopters, they're not mine, you know, but there were a lot of them. I have some favorites. 2-9, it, it, this is, again, if the, the folks that are indulging in this uh, opportunities. Well, that's why they're be, watching. Be, being very um, curious and watching every, our every move, the ones that follow us in the air. 2-9 uh, Lima Whiskey was probably one of my favorite helicopters. I really, really liked that helicopter. I had a lot of great stories in it, had a lot of fun in it. It was amazing. Is that why you liked it? Because of the memories? Or no, no, no. because of the way no. it worked? Oh, the, the helicopter? Yeah. It was just nice. Gotcha. It was just nice. It was just really, it was well put together. And, uh, and, and I'm not meaning the helicopter, I mean the, the ENG package, the way the scanners were, the way everything was. I mean, we didn't even have moving maps back then. But, but yeah. That was the one. And then 6-7 Tango Victor is the first helicopter I've ever flown in. I have an amazing picture by a famous photographer that I don't know his name, but that is going to be par for me all my <laughs> life. But he took a picture of me on that helicopter recently, and it had been, you know, it's been repainted in gray anyways, but that is like my favorite picture of me. 
and it's because I'm on that helicopter. Nice. Because I really like six seven Tango Victor. It's still in operation, <clears throat> by the way. Yeah, still in operation today. Oh wow. So and it 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 has a couple upgrades, you know, it's it's an aircraft, yeah. but but yeah, it's still around. So but yeah. Two nine H D, come on. <clears throat> With the blue gimbals, yeah. it makes it look good. Two nine H D was uh that was so when we switched over to to Helenet, we we left AC and we went to Helenet. Two nine HD became the main ride. It wasn't right out the box, I don't think. It came in a little bit later, but it was uh, just a, an amazing, also amazing platform. It was just, you know, it, we had the F one on it when it was new. We had all the toys in, and it always worked. You know, I mean, it was one of those ones. I mean, that's kind of that's what I always say. It's like you can be you can be a camera operator all day long, but when you push a button and they don't have your picture or you know you do something and you're not seeing what you're supposed to see and that that's when you become a, a real camera operator you know that's when things change in in this other world you know not as a stringer but but yeah that's those are the things but anyway 29 was an amazing helicopter um i have a question if you're allowed to say it what, what was your least favorite what did you, you know, not like? But see, but see, this is the thing. This is the thing. You can say there. The, I, I always look at a positive. I'm not. I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, grasshopper. You must uh, think of snatching <laughs> pebbles. And then, the, um, yes, I like this kid. That is. That is. That is. A, that is a stage manager. That's my. That's, that's my son. That's, that's a, that's that my, is that's a stage manager right there. Don't don't what beat was around the, the bush. What least was your favorite? least favorite? I, I really. Even and you have to say the station, it, just no, the no, helicopter no, it doesn't itself. even make any difference. I, I was all about, even, even the worst ones, I loved them because they were so bad. Because you were doing, when, but you were doing your job. You know, like but, but no, it was like, it was comical. There gotcha. were some of them that were so bad that you were just like, I can't believe we're putting things on television. I got you. You know? Yeah. Um, so there was some of those. It, it, and then there were other ones that were slower, you know. But it's like, okay, you know. They, they, they were Still just, get you there? Yeah, but, but helicopters do right have now. a lot of different personalities because they're handmade and, you know, the way they fly. And they really do. They're, you know, it, it really is. They're not all the same. There's just no way. But the, and we had some crappy ones over at Helenet that you couldn't fly for two hours. You know, so the plus side was, I don't have to fly for two hours. You know what I mean? The plus side is... You fly the most, right? <coughs> I mean, it, out of all the announcers, broadcaster, camera, or out, the helicopters, Fox is up the most? Dude. Fox is up, KTLA's like, pretty. relentlessly. Yeah. We are relentless in the... We're going to get it. We got it. Yeah. Not, competitive, not competitive at all. I smash these not, There's no competition in the helicopters. No, no. <laughs> what do you mean? I was going to say. <laughs> I was joking. Yeah. I was joking. I mean, I think, I think it's on the same level as, you know, the stringers, some stringers, because everybody's got their, like the helicopters, they all have their personalities. You yeah. know, I mean, I think it's one of those. It's like even back in the day, if you got the better story, it was like, you know, that was all you had to do. Yep. And you then know? you have to have amnesia. You yeah. really do. Right. You know, you just have to forget that you lost and, and go about it again and then just learn from yeah. what happened. And at the station, there is still that, you know, be there first. There is. But again, it's like, okay, we were there first, but then we didn't put it on the air for five minutes, you know? So were we there first? You know, we were there first, but we didn't get it on air on time. You know, there's always that kind of, that, that kind of thing too. But, but yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think I've ever really did the... You know, hey, where are you, man? You know, <laughs> yeah. we got a great pursuit. Too bad you weren't there. <laughs> you know, so yeah. What's up, buddy? You oh, you want to go home? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Hi. Hey. Hey. Right. Well, right. that's our show, right. guys. That's our show for tonight. <laughs> I, I guess. I guess that's it. It was like, Daddy, yeah. I want you to go. Right. <laughs> Is it? Oh. Uh, just two quick questions All right. to us off. One of them is, how come you don't hang out of the helicopter anymore? Uh, technology. I could make a fat joke there, but it is actually technology. <laughs> we do, we do, it, it's done differently nowadays. There is no, there's, there, people still do it, maybe for a look or whatever. I mean, it's still, you can, mm -hmm. but there, for news, it's not, it's, it's just not viable. And it, it's technology. It's the gimbals and all that other stuff. That's why we don't do it anymore. And the, the next question is, why don't you work nights? Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you for not working nights. Right I now, appreciate it. right now, nights are just not so they're not viable. It. That's it. I, you know, I, I, I just lit a little extra. It's uh, Fox is uh, they have a they have a morning shift, and that's where I'm at. And I'm at Fox, and I love Fox, and I love saying Sky Fox. I think it's a great fit. Yeah. I, th I think it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great fit <laughs> for everybody involved. Yeah. So. Bronson, you want to take us out? You want to say goodbye to everybody and thank you? Yeah, Bronson. No. Yep. yep. <laughs> You're there. Yep. You got it, buddy. You got to yep. give the sign off, Bronson. All right. You got to sign it off. Anything? Ziomara? Uh, no, that's it. That's it? That's it. Thank you, everybody. All right, kids, I think we did another two hours. Thank you, too. Yes, <laughs> I think we did. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, your suggestions are make it tighter. <laughs> Keep them coming. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.